All right, hey, how's it going? Loud, loud. All right, first things first, I'm the realist. Uh, second thing second, uh, we're a little later than we should be because the puppies ripped a wall outlet off of the wall, as the name implies. And I had to go fishing on the breaker box to find out how to turn off the, the wall outlet so the puppies wouldn't die. So yeah, sorry about that. Did you get any sleep yesterday after what you did to those poor devs? I didn't get much sleep last night at all, no, actually, but probably not just not because of that. Do, do, do. Will there be spoiler chat? There is spoiler chat on Discord. I don't think you can make rooms on on um, Twitch anymore, so so sorry about that. So yesterday's stream was chaos, and it was a, it was a glimpse into uh, what what uh, Lily and I's Lily and I's life. Lily and me, because it would be my Lily and my's. Hmm. English is hard. Writer, by the way. Um, what our life is like, because that's just pretty much what our whole entire life is like, you know, like, like just today, it's like, this this morning, um, we, we, we order food, it doesn't get here in time, then it's the wrong order when it gets here, uh, Finn has, is walking around with a switch and is, is saying to me, Daddy, oh, you've played Stardew Valley before? Okay, name every fish. So I have to name every fish in the game, I couldn't remember them all. Leo and Kate both independently decided that they didn't want to have their naps, so they were just been crying, we're not having any naps today. Um, the, the puppies shit and pissed everywhere and then ripped the wall outlet off, off the wall as we already went into. The thing that lives in the attic demanded double tribute. Um, you know, Know, just just things like that it's just chaos every all day every day just just there's always something going on there's always like you go outside walk the dogs and then and, and Leo's just there just knocking on the window you know like it's just like this always too many things wanting your attention so that like that whole stream yesterday is just basically how, how our lives are you know um, fucking hell I, I secretly kind of love it like I, I thrive in that sort of environment but i do wish sometimes that i would have more chances to catch my breath but uh yeah uh, i haven't slept very well in the last past two days just because of narcolepsy i think uh anyway so <clears throat> phoenix right ace attorney trilogy so before we get started uh, i need to set up my menus and i also need to go into options all right gain oh shit i can't see chat so is this game like Danganronpa in that it sucks? Uh, <laughs> <It's> <laughs> is this game in like Danganronpa that there are... Um, there's clear point of, hey, we're going into a trial. Like, I assume the whole game isn't just about a trial. I think I've seen a screenshot of, of like, like crime scene investigation. Like, is, is there, like, a clear, like, okay, now we're into this ekin part of the game? Okay, cool. So I think we'll try and um, read subs and stuff and have more structured kind of monocoin stuff when that happens, when we're at a break point. But I will try and keep on top of the um, saying thank you to subs and everything. Uh, like, we almost have as, as many subs now as we did before the stream went on break. So um, thank you so much to everyone just putting up with... Uh, the stream breaks that we do. Um, I don't know how that's going to happen in the future. Like, like I don't know. I, I would prefer it if there were never any big breaks. But like I said, our life is chaos. And that's what happens. But yeah, we'll see. We kind of have like a, um, a, like a TV show seasons sort of approach to streaming. Where we stream for a, a while, then we take some breaks, and then we come back. So I guess people can tolerate it fair enough. But yeah. Is there a plan to play Apollo Justice as well? It kind of belongs to the main narrative. I don't know what Apollo Justice is. We're gonna play the ones on, on, uh, on Steam. The three that are on Steam. And if we we like those, then we will play the other ones at some point if it's possible. But if it's on like, I don't know, like Game Boy Advance, and you have to emulate it or shit, I'm not doing that. Like, no. We'll see. Do, 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 do. There are 11 games in this series. 
Damn, it's half point and click adventure, half fictional novel, and half puzzle. Yep, three halves. All right, you just start. Yeah, we haven't started. We haven't played anything yet. We haven't even looked at the options menu yet. Do, 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 do. Might be asked often, but could you please share some info about past VODs appearing on the second channel, Disco Elysium, or the more recent Outer Wilds? Okay, so the following streams are currently all on on YouTube and are having uh, a variety of issues. All the Resident Evil 2 and 3 streams, like the Claire one still needs to go up on, on, um, on YouTube. I haven't forgotten about that. The Doom Eternal streams are up on there. All of the Disco Elysium streams were uploaded. Like I when, when I upload a stream to, 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 to YouTube, I have to render it with chat. So I have to go in and I, I like trim out part of the beginning when there's like this intro and if I play any music I need to get rid of it for for the copyright claim. I also go in and I take out the breaks when, when I'm gone for 10 minutes because it's just not fun. Um, and I need to align chat which can be a little tricky sometimes so it takes me usually around maybe... Uh, at first it was taking me about an hour to get them set up but now I can do it in about 15-20 minutes. So it's a pretty good pretty good uh, return you know. Um, like I have to let the, the make conforming files as well whenever I put it on. Um, so those are all up there. Uh, on YouTube, but Disco Elysium is in copyright hell, and YouTube has muted me on on uh, on Twitter. Um, maybe one day I'll screen cap the Twitter DMs that I have on Twitter. It's I look like an obsessive ex girlfriend that is just like, just like, like hey 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 like why aren't you answering me? Why aren't you answering me? Like hey, it's been two months, it's been three months, it's been four months, it's been five months. Like like why aren't you answering me? Um, so yeah, uh, that's um, pretty pretty bad. Um, so we, my mic is peaking a bit. Okay, one second. There you go. I turn it down just ever so slightly. That should, that should probably help. Um, so those Disco Elysium streams are probably never going to go up unless I go through them all and I take out the parts that are getting flagged and narrate them instead. But the, co the way copyright bots work on YouTube is that just because it's flagging that spot right now doesn't mean it, it can't flag another spot later. So it might just be, like, it, it might take months and months, maybe even like more than a year or two for me to just constantly render that out, take out that spot, and narrate it. And at that point, is it even the right stream? I don't know. So I wish I had highlighted them. Um, but yeah, I'll highlight the ones that are on Twitch now. After the stream, I'll do it. Uh, the Outer Wilds VODs shouldn't have any problems going up on YouTube. But I need to balance the copyright claims because if I get three, the channel gets deleted. Uh, copyright strike, sorry. And right now, there's, there's one. At one point, it had two. So, yeah. Sucks. Can you upload them to Twitch separately? Maybe. Maybe I could put them on Twitch. Yeah, that might be an answer. I don't know how Twitch does VODs. Anyway, I'm just rambling on and on. Uh, my windows are set up. I can see the stream. I can see OBS. I can see chat. I can see uh, Streamlabs. I can see chat is being recorded on the other computer. It's not. Oh, no. Recording has been saved. What do you mean? Then why wasn't there a green icon? What do you mean? Asterix, let's go. Recording has. What do you mean recording is saved? The recording wasn't even started. All right, hold on. Let's let it go. Is is the hard drive full? Oh shit, that's not. Okay. Uh, maybe the hard drive's full. No, it's here. What the fuck? Okay, let's try again. All right. Okay. Well, if that's, I won't we'll mess with it anymore. All right. That seems to be set up now, so we'll see. Oh my god. Okay. So. Okay. So it was specifically requested. So it's very important that I say. For Bakuretsu Connoisseur, that Hitagi Sengogahara is best girl and is the waifu of Bakuretsu Connoisseur. I don't, I don't know who this girl is apart from when I Google imaged it. Uh, there's like just a blatantly not safe for work image. And like she has just a gigantic ass in that one and not in any of the others and she lifted up her skirt and a bunch of pencils and protractors and staplers fell out so I don't know what that's all about that's kind of weird do, 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 do. 
Uh, thank you to Supreme Cool, Freeborn, Yopi, Kusoro, and Klixta for using 20k mana coins on Sweet Fuck All instead of spending it on Ayaya. Thank you so much. In comparison, only two people since then have put their coins to Ayaya. Unofficially Jam and Oricons. So 2v5. Good job. Good job. We will do the coins at the end of the stream, as always. We'll add them all up, and I'll say thank you. And, all right, so before we get into this, I need to go to the options menu, and you need, I just need to tell me. Uh, mouse and keyboard or gamepad? This was the Game Boy game, right? So gamepad's probably better. All right, options. And you guys can tell me how the sound is. So background music. Um, anything that is like, yeah, you have to play with screen shake off, or else I hate you, or anything like that. Like, do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Text box, adjust your text box transparency low. Hot. Ooh, let's go with high. Do, 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 do. Language Japanese. Simplified and traditional. Wow, look, the Japanese is, is number one. Nice. Do, 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 do. High obscures a lot of image. Does it? So low? Hi. Why is it LB to go to the right? Okay, so vertical sync. Yeah, this looks fine. All right, confirm changes. All right, we're good. Text skip off? Hold. Turn off motion blur. All right, we'll turn off. Okay, chat is saying to use mouse and keyboard because it was on Game Boy and you used the stylus to play, I guess, instead of the buttons. All right, we can play with mouse and keyboard. All right, new game. All right, so Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney. Phoenix Wright, Ace Attorney, Justice for All. Well, that's just not gonna happen. Ace Attorney, Trials and Tribulations. All right, so we're playing with, this is the first one I'm guessing, 2001, 2002, 2004. George R. R. Martin was not involved in this. All right, so let's play this game. So uh, before I hit, hit it, um, how is the sound? Are we okay with sound? Louder, quieter. Sounds good? Okay. All right, so it is time then to play this game. But first, oh no, every time I hit the mouse wheel, it's gonna do this. Wow, that's gonna get annoying. Do, 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 do. Thank you to Jeffero, Tribe King, Gigabyte TV, Lark, Pickle Himiko. <laughs> For the, for the new subs and the resub. <laughs> uh, thank you, T Jones 107, for the 101 bits. If I only had to watch one VOD all the way through between Xenoblade and Persona, which one would you recommend as a better representation of this community? Cheer 100. Persona for sure. Absolute Persona. Uh, I think someone is highlighting the Xenoblade streams right now, if you want the condensed version. Uh, thank you, Zephyr Lily, for the 13 month resub. Thank you, Depression Milk 123, for the new sub. It's your two sub. Thank you, Depression Milk. That's an interesting name. Thank you, Gordu, for the new sub of Prime. Thank you, Hugs and Misses, for gifting a sub to. Um, I, I can't read that name because it's in another language. I'm sorry. Hopefully, it shows up in chat. Thank you, Hugs and Misses, for also gifting a sub to TVN, Pro Procyon, Cans Cavoris. Can Crivoris. There we go, we got it eventually. Kodak42, Walrus Gumboot. <laughs> thank you, Hugs and Misses, and, and welcome to you. Uh, thank you, Cat Hens, for resub for 34 months. Congrats to me, Lion Dongers. Congrats indeed. Thank you very much. Thank you, Zathir. 
18 for the new sub. Thank you, Anton69, for 100 bits. I'll give you an additional 100 bits if you play the game in German, Cap. But now nah, my German is uh, like, no. Ich bin sprechen der Deutsch nicht so gut. Yeah, like, no, 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 no. Uh, thank you, Atterberry, for the 313 sub with wow. I'm surprised as you. Isaac9977 for the 813 sub. Yo, yo, Isaac, thank you very much. TFT Master for the 213 sub. A, A, Ace Attorney is hype. I don't understand why it is hype. Is this one, is this like people's favorite game or something? Because uh, if not, it might not be at the end of this, because, you know, I, I have the objective influence powers, you know. That's why people get mad at me, right? I have to have them. Thank you, Blobfish2000, for the 30 more, 34 month resub. Devil58 for the 30 month resub. 936868149270F did it. Nailed it. Nailed it. For the new sub, welcome. Hugs and Misses is also resubscribed for two months. Sorry for watching your videos with Adblock, and sorry. But I will continue to. Uh, my lawyer has, um, who is who is feeling sorry by the way, has a, <laughs> such a dumb joke. <laughs> has uh, advised me to not not comment, confirm or deny how I feel about adblock and its usage. So I will just say thank you. Um, Sikaru has subscribed for the first time with uh, with Prime. Deployable Muffin, excellent name, has resubscribed for 22 months. And the last three on my list are Rocket Shuttle. Ice Devil 242 and Hydus. So thank you for the reset Rocket Shuffle and welcome to Ice Devil 242 and Hydus. Okay, and that's it. So let's get started. Who thought it was gonna hit Justice for All by accident? Play this game. Episode one, the first turnabout. Do 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 Alright, so once I've done them all I can choose what episode I'm gonna do. Alright. So some evil, evil guy does something, or is he just happy and Ryuji has to deal with it, and I think I know who that is, I think I saw them. Play the first turnabout, yes. Oh shit. Gasp, gasp. Damn it, why me? I can't get caught. No oh shit, the comp not like this. I I've gotta find someone to pin this on. So, Well, this is gonna be an easy one to solve. Someone like him. I'll make it look like he did it. August 3, 9.47 a.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby number two. Okay, if the gamepad is gonna continue to rumble, I'm gonna play it with the gamepad because I'll just unplug it. All right, get ready, chat. Boy, am I nervous. Oh, the music. I don't really know what this is, so I hope I'm gonna say the right thing. Like, raise your, your dongers. Get ready, here we go. Right. Oh, hi, hi, Chief. Here we go, here's the reason why chat wanted me to play this game. Woo, I'm glad I made it on time. Hi, Mia. Well, I have to say, Phoenix, I'm impressed. So I've already decided that this is worse, girl. Not everyone takes them on a murder trial right off the bat like this. Can you guys see my mouse? Is that a thing you guys can see? Yeah, you can? All right, cool. So I can point at things and you, and you guys will be able to see it? Okay. I can't wait to find out the tragic backstory of this little fucking stone pendant that she has. All right, not everyone takes on a murder trail right off the bat like this. It says a lot about you and your client as well. Um, thanks. Actually, it's because I owe him a favor. A favor? <gasps> you mean, you knew the defendant before this case? Yes, actually, I kind of owe my current job to him. Is Phoenix Waffles? I don't know. Let's feel out the voices. Someone has to have Yusuke voice. He's one of the reasons I became an attorney. Well, that's news to me. I want to help him out any way I can. I just really want to help him. I owe him that much. It's okay. The thing is, I'm unplugging the gamepad. Hope it doesn't crash it. It's over. My life, everything, it's all over. For real? 
Is that your client screaming over there? Yeah, it's him. Death, despair, oh. Elden Ring, I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna die. It sounds like he wants to die. <laughs> um, yeah. But, Nick. Hey, hey there, Larry. Butts, dudes, uh, he's Larry Butts? Dude, I'm so guilty, tell them I'm guilty. Give me the death sentence, I'm, I ain't afraid to die. What? What's wrong, Larry? Oh, it's all over. I, I'm finished. Finished. I can't live in a world without her, I can't. Who, who took her away from me, Nick? Who did this? Ah, Nick, you gotta tell me. Who took my baby away? Is the text speech, like the, the sound effect, is the text is coming, is that bothering anybody? Can we even turn that off if it is bothering anybody? Or, or what, like, it's good? All right, hmm person responsible for your girlfriend's death the newspapers say it was you my name is Phoenix Wright here's the story my first case is a fairly simple one she kind of looks like Mia a young woman was killed in her apartment the guy they arrested was unlikely was the unlucky sap dating her Larry Butts my best friend since grade school oh Oh, you, you, oh, okay. I, I, oh, all right. Our school had a saying, when something smells, it's, <laughs> it's usually the butts. <laughs> in the 23 years I've known him, it's usually been true. He has a knack for getting himself in trouble. One thing I can say, though, it's usually not his fault. He just has terrible luck. But I know better than anyone that he's a good guy at heart. That and I owe him one, which is why I took the case to clear his name. And that's just what I'm going to do. Because we're an anime protagonist. August 3, 10 a.m. Sprinklers, District Court, courtroom number two. Oh, shit. Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Larry Butts. The prosecution, Payne? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Does he bring on the pain? The um, defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh man, look at us. Damn. Ahem. Mr. Wright, this is your first trial, is it not? Y yes, Your Honor. I'm um, a little nervous. Can I have a tutorial, please? Your conduct during this trial will decide the fate of your client. Murder is a serious charge. For your client's sake, I hope you can control your nerves. Thank, thank you, Your Honor. Mr. Wright, given the circumstances, I think we should have a test to ascertain your your readiness. Yes, Your Honor. Tutorial time. Gulp. Hand shaking. Eyesight. Fading. Knees weak. The test will consist of a few simple questions. Answer them clearly and concisely. Please take the name of the defendant in this case. Uh, it's it's Larry Butts. The defendant. Well, that's Larry Butts, Your Honor. Oh man, we fucking nailed it, correct. Just keep your wits about you and you'll do fine. Next question. This is a murder trial. Tell me, what's the victim's name? Phew, I know this one. I read the case report cover to cover so many times. It's, wait, uh, I don't, did it say the victim's name? No, no, no way, I forgot. I'm drawing a total blank here. Phoenix. Whoa, look at uh, her. Uh, Phoenix, are you absolutely sure you're up to this? You don't even know the victim's name? Oh, the victim. Uh, uh, of course I know the victim's name. I um, just forgot. Temporarily. I think I feel a migraine coming on. Look, the victim's name is listed in the court record. Just press tab to check it at any time. Okay? Remember to check it often. Do it for me, please. I'm begging you. Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Alright, how do I... Cindy Stone... Cinder Block... It's gonna be Cindy Stone. Wait, tab. She said tab. Alright, attorney's badge. No one would believe that I was a defense attorney if I didn't carry this. Really? Okay. Time of death. Cindy's autopsy report. Time of death. 7.31, 4pm to 5pm. Cause of death. Loss of blood due to blunt trauma. Oh, is that it? What's profiles? Mia Fay, age 27, chief attorney at Fay & Co., my boss and a very good defense attorney. Larry Butts, age 23, defendant in this case, a likable guy who has been my friend since grade school. 
Cindy Stone, the victim in this case, a model. She lived in an apartment by herself. And she was with the butts? Winston Payne, age 52, the prosecutor for this case, lacks presence, generally bad at getting his points across. Okay, so it's uh, it's Cindy Stone, but in the interest of, um, of like, what happens if I got it wrong? Oh, um, wasn't it Miss Block, Miss Cinder Block? The person in question was a victim of murder, not ill-conceived naming, Mr. Wright, right? If you forget something, use tab to check the court record and jog your memory. A mistake in court could cost you the case. I'll ask you again, Mr. Wright, who is the victim in this case? Um, the victim's name is Cindy Stone. So I'm guessing there's some sort of penalty when we're out of the tutorial, but right now it's just letting me retry it. Okay. Correct. Now tell me, what was the cause of death? She died because she was hit with a blunt object. She was struck once by a blunt object. Correct. You've answered all my questions. I see no reason why we shouldn't proceed. You seem much more relaxed, Mr. Wright. Good for you. Thank you, Your Honor. Because I don't feel relaxed, that's for sure. Well then. First, a question for the prosecution, Mr. Payne. Yes, Your Honor? Nah, I'm not gonna do voices. I'm bad at voices. As Mr. Wright just told us, the victim was struck with a blunt object, which explains <laughs> to the court just what that object was. The murder weapon was the statue of the Thinker. It was found lying on the floor next to the victim. I see. The court accepts it into evidence. The statue added to the court record. The statue in the shape of the Thinker. It's rather heavy. Right. Be sure to pay attention to any evidence added during the trial. That evidence is the only ammunition you have in court. Use tab to check the court record frequently and load bullets into your truth pistol. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its first witness. The prosecution calls the defendant, Mr. Butts, to the stand. Um, Chief, what do I do now? Pay attention. You don't want to miss any information that might help your client's case. You'll get your chance to respond to the prosecution later, so be ready. Let's just hope he doesn't say anything. Unfortunate. Uh-oh. Larry gets excited easily. This could be bad. Ahem. Mr. Ryuji, is it not true that the victim had recently dumped you? Hey, watch it, buddy. We were great together. What's this, the, the teeth? We were Romeo and Juliet, Cleopatra and Mark Anthony. Um, didn't they all die? I wasn't dumped, she just wasn't taking my phone calls or seeing me, ever. What's it to you anyway? Mr. Butts, what you describe is generally what we mean <laughs> what you mean by dumped. Is this what is known as dumped? In fact, she had completely abandoned you and was seeing other men. She had just returned from overseas with one of them the day before the murder. What do you mean one of them? Lies, all of it, lies, I don't believe a word of it. Your Honor, the victim's passport. According to this, she was in Paris until the day before she died. Passport added to the court record. The victim apparently arrived home from Paris on s on 7.30 uh, the day before the murder. Hmm, indeed. She appears to have returned the day before the murder. We're at the same time that we are now. Dude, no way. The victim was a model but did not have a large income. It appears that she had several sugar daddy- Daddies? Sugar? Yes, older men who gave her money and gifts. Were you one of them, Payne? She took their money and used it to support her lifestyle. Dude, that's badass. We can clearly sh see what kind of woman this Miss Stone was. Tell me, Mr. Butts, what do you think of her now? Right. I don't think you want to hint to answer that question. Yeah, Larry has a way of running his mouth in all the wrong directions. Should I stop him from answering? Wait and see what happens. Yeah, let's stop him. Objection. My client had no idea the victim was seeing other men. That question is irrelevant to this case. Oof, wince. Yeah, wince and pain, pain. Dude, Nick, what do you mean irrelevant? That cheating she-dog. I'm gonna die, I'm just gonna drop dead. Yeah, and when I meet her in the afterlife, I'm gonna kill her all over again. I'm going to get to the bottom of this. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? Wouldn't it have been better if the judge was also a, a hot lady with reasonably sized boobs? Like, really reasonably sized? 
and and that they were also just like not really obviously put on display. I I I, find, I kind of feel like they they missed out there, right? I also think that the prosecutor was also like like a really hot girl with with similarly reasonably sized boobs, and like if Phoenix Wright was also you know a reasonably sized boobed hot girl, like. Let's continue with the trial, shall we? I believe the accused motive is clear to everyone. Yes, quite. Oh boy. This is not- This is so not looking good. Next question. You went to McDonald's apartment on the day of the murder, did you not? Gulp. Well, did you or did you not? Heh, <laughs> Well, maybe I did, and maybe I didn't. Uh-oh, he went. What do I do? Have him answer honestly. Stop him around too much. No, he has to answer honestly. Like, like this is this is relevant. I know. I'll send him a signal. Oh, wait, what's so, like? <laughs> you gonna wave his arms? Like, <laughs> tell the truth. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I was there. I went. That worked. Order. Well, Mr. Butts, dude, chill. She wasn't home, man, so, like, I didn't see her. Objection. Your Honor, the defendant is- Was that him saying objection, or is that just the sound that plays when objection has- That sounds like a little goblin! Objection! The defendant is lying. Lying? The prosecution would like to call a witness who can prove Mr. Butts is lying. Well, this- this- that simplifies matters. Who is your witness? The man who found the victim's body. Just before making the gruesome discovery. When does Chadworth show up? I want to. I want to see Chadworth. He saw the defendant fleeing the scene of the crime. Order, order in the court. Mr. Payne, the prosecution may call its witness. Yes, Your Honor. This is bad. On the day of the murder, my witness was selling newspapers at the victim's building. Please bring Mr. Frank. Saw. <laughs> Oh, he saw it all right. Mr. Saw it. You sell newspaper, newspaper subscriptions, is this correct? Oh, oh yes. Newspapers, yes. Mr. Saw it. You may proceed with your testimony. Please tell the court what you saw on the day of the murder. Witness testimony. Witnesses account. Testimony. Alright. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing in a, fleeing an apartment. I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. Thinking it's strange, I looked inside the apartment. Then I saw her lying there, a woman, not moving, dead. I quailed in fright and found myself unable to go inside. I thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone in her apartment wasn't working. I went to a nearby park and found a public phone. I remember the time exactly. It was 1pm. The man who ran was, without a doubt, the defendant sitting right over there. Hmm. Larry, why didn't you tell the truth? I can't defend you against a testimony like that. At least not in court. Incidentally, why wasn't the phone in the victim's apartment working? Your Honor, at the time of the murder, there was a blackout in the building. Oh, convenient. Aren't the phones supposed to work during a blackout? It was a cordless phone, Your Honor. But they have batteries, don't they? Yes, Your Honor. However, some cordless phones are not functional. Oh yeah, because the receiver would need power. Okay, yeah. The phone that Miss Mr. Saw it used was one of those. Your Honor. I have a record of the blackout for your perusal. Blackout record added to the court record. Electricity to Mrs. Stone's building was out from noon to 6 p.m. on the day of the crime. Now, Mr. Wright. Yes, er, yes, your honor. You may begin your cross-examination. Cross-examination, your honor? All right, right, this is it, the real deal. Man, Merrick, can, can we get a can we get a Mia Chan? Because like like as you can clearly see, this needs to be Chanified. Like like come on, like way too, way too plain and modest and and simple. Like this needs to go through the Chan process. All right, right, this is it, the real deal. Uh, I'm kidding, Merrick. <laughs> exactly how am I supposed to do? Why you exposed the lies in the testimony the witness just gave? Lies? What? He was lying? Your client is innocent, right? 
then that witness must have lied in his testimony, or is your client really guilty? How do I prove he's not? You hold the key. It's in the evidence. Compare the witness's testimony to the evidence at hand. There's bound to be a contradiction in there. First, find contradictions between the court record and the witness's testimony. Then, once you found the contradicting evidence, present it and rub it in the witness's face. Aggressive. Um, okay. Open the court record of the tab, then point out contradictions in the testimony. Do, 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 do. Witness account. Can I open that at any time? Nope. Witness account. I was going door to door selling subscriptions when I saw a man fleeing the apartment. Alright. Oh, so can I back out of this? Alright. Is there a time limit or is there not a time limit in, um, in, uh, whatchamacallit? Fuck. Like, outside of the tutorial. Okay, so time of death was 4 p.m., 5 p.m., so he's lying about when he found the body because it was 1 p.m. Alright, so how do I... That, that corresponds with the date of that. So how do I, like, when, when it shows up that he was at 1 p.m.? When he did the phone call or when he found the body? Like, what what do I do? And does it have to be on here or, like, at, at that point? Or does it have to be at any point? Um, let's see if I can do it at any point. Like, let's see. So... Q press. Am I pressing, like, if I press now... Hold it. Isn't a man leaving an apartment a, a common sight? I find okay, so it has to be at the time when he when he's saying what the the, the part of evidence. Okay, that makes sense. I just wanted to check. I find it odd you would take notice of him, or heh. I don't know. He just seems strange to me. That's all. Like he was mad and yet frightened at the same time, just like a criminal fleeing the scene of a crime. The defense requests that the witness refrain from conjecture. Of course. What the witness means is that the man he saw looks suspicious. So what happened next? I thought he must be in a hurry because he left the door half open behind him. So there's like dialogue for every for, for objecting at every single part of this? That's pretty cool. Can I go back and forth between them? Oh, nice. I like that. Okay, thinking a stranger lived inside the apartment when I saw her lying there, a woman. Okay, so we're going for 100% completion. So we have to object to every part. <laughs> All right, thought to call the police immediately. However, the phone department wasn't working. I went to a nearby farm for the amount of time. Okay, all right, objection, object, uh, objection. Present, objection. objection. You found the body at 1 p.m. You're sure? Yes, it was 1 p.m. for certain. Frankly, I find that hard to believe. Oh, we're dramatic, we're drama lawyer. Oh, nice, I like drama lawyer. Your statement directly contradicts the autopsy report. The autopsy notes the time of death at some time after 4 p.m. There was nobody to her, uh, no body to <laughs> find at 1 p.m. How do you expect this three? Uh, how do you explain this three-hour gap? Oh, that. Oh, uh, uh, I'm I'm at 1 p.m. Paris time. Or uh, this is trivial. The witness merely forgot the time. After his testimony, I find that hard to believe. Mr. Saw it. Why were you so certain that you found the body at 1 p.m.? I, er, uh, well, I, gee, that's a really good question. Great job, right? Way to put him on the spot. That's all you have to do, point out contradictions. Lies always beget more lies. See through one and their whole story falls apart. Wait, I remember now. Would you care to give your testimony again? The time of discovery. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Oh, but it was three hours off, wasn't it? I guess the victim must have been watching a video of a taped program. That's why I thought it was 1 p.m. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. No! Hmm, I see. You heard a voice saying the time on the tape program. What? 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 Mr. Wright, you may cross examine the wit. All right, all right, okay, okay, all right. Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a tutorial, it's a tutorial, it's a tutorial. All right. They're, they're, they're set, they're laying the foundation that, you know, a little 
wacky. All right, that's fine. I'm glad that they're saying this now instead of, you know, in Trial 5. Um, you know, I, I'm just, I'm just like, it's just, it's nothing specific I'm referencing. I'm just hypothetically saying, you know, like, if something got completely off the walls and wacky at, at the very end of the game, if such a game existed, you know, like, because it clearly doesn't about solving mysteries and stuff, that would be pretty bad. But, you know, uh, just, just hypothetically, I'm glad that they're setting it up now instead of, you know, right at the end. Hey, Mr. Wright, you may cross-examine the witness. Right. You know what to do. I've got this one. The time of discovery. Do, do. You see, when I found the body, I heard the time. There was a voice saying the time. It was probably coming from the television. Okay, so... Can I, can I object to this? I want to use, I want to say, um, uh, blackout, but d can I object and then use it? What happens if I just object with no evidence? Let's, let's find out. Are you sure it was a television and not a radio? Well, no, I guess it might have been a radio. Incidentally, there was no radio on the premises. There was only one large television. Right. I can't put my finger on it, but something about this seems fishy. Something ab about hearing the television. The witness has testified. He heard the time. Okay, so our objections... Just, I'm, I'm not asking, by the way. I'm just, like, speaking out loud in my thought process as, as we go. I'm actually trying not to read chat. So, my, our objections... Like, will an objection ever actually counter something? Or is an objection just to get more info? To press the witness to get more info? And then you present the, the, the evidence afterwards. Like, it, it, can I ever object to something and, and the game is just gonna go, that was dumb, like... I'm guessing this is the health bar up here. All right, so, um... There we go. I, I'm guessing either the, either or will work. Objection. Objection! Hold it right there. The prosecution has said there was a blackout at the time of the discovery. And this record proves it. You couldn't have heard a television or a video. Gah, no, they had a battery backup for the TV. I, well, irk. The defense has a point. Do you have an explanation for this, Mr. Sawit? No, I, I, I find it quite puzzling myself, quite. Ah, well, wait, I remember now, Mr. Sawit. The court would prefer to hear an accurate testimony from the very beginning. These constant corrections are harming your credibility. That, and you seem rather distraught. M my apologies, your honor. It er, must have been the shock of finding the body. Very well, Mr. Sawit. Let's hear your testimony once more, please. What, we're going again? Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. That must have been what I saw. No, it was a, it was a thinking statue. You saw a clock? I guess I would explain it. The defense may cross-examine the... We're going with this, Judge? Gla again, all right, they're setting up. They're setting up. All right, gladly. All right. God, I, I hope I can call some bullshit in advance later. Hearing the time. Actually, I didn't hear the time. I saw it. There was a table clock in the apartment, wasn't there? Yeah, the murder weapon. The killer used it to hit the victim. Alright, uh, let's just present. Okay, chat. I'm actually gonna look at chat for this. Okay, would you rather I press and then use it to get more information? Would that make it more entertaining? Or if I know the answer, should I just go for it? Always press? Okay. Wait, always press? Always press at all? Or just go for it? I, I'm confused now what I even said. Let's just present. Go for it. Wait just a moment. The murder weapon wasn't a clock. It was the statue. Now how is this supposed to be a clock? You, you with your objections and your evidence, just who do you think you are? Just answer the question, Mr. Saw It. Hey, I... I saw it there, okay? There's a- that's a clock. Your Honor, if I may. Yes, Mr. Payne? As the witness stated, this statue is indeed a clock. The neck is a switch. You just tilt it and it says the time out loud. As it doesn't look like a clock, I submitted it as a statue. My apologies. I see. So the murder weapon was a table clock after all. 
But he said he saw the time. Well, Mr. Wright, it appears that the witness's testimony was correct. This is the clock. Do you have any problems with the testimony? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. He said he saw it, not heard it. Your Honor, there is a gaping hole in the witness's testimony. The only way he could have known the weapon was a clock is to hold it in his hand. Yet the witness testified that he never entered the apartment. But how was, how did he explain that? Clearly a contradiction. Yeah. Yeah, tell him, right? Hmm, indeed. The witness knew it was a clock because he went into the apartment. You're lying. You were inside the apartment on the day of the murder. Oh yeah? Prove it. Prove I went in there. Prove I'm not a ghost. I'll do better than that. I can prove you were the one who killed her. You struck her with the clock, and the shock of the blow triggered the clock's voice. That was the sound you heard. And the clock was off because it was on Parisian time, which I don't think it would actually be that delayed, would it? Order in the court. Intriguing. It would be further than that, wouldn't it? Intriguing. Please continue, Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. Mr. Saw it. The sound must have left quite an impression on you. Understandable, since the murder weapon spoke just as you hit the victim. <laughs> Imagine hitting someone across the head and it goes, Conk, 1 p.m. Conk, 1 p.m. That voice was burned into your mind. That's why you were so certain about the time. What, what's the meaning of this? This is all baseless conjecture. Baseless? Useless? Just look at the witness's face. Oh man, is useless becoming baseless? Ugh, grah. Would the witness care to elaborate? Did you strike the victim with the clock? I, I, that, th that day, I, I, I never. Look, I, the clock, I heard, no, I mean, I saw, saw. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what? Shut up, shut up, shut up. I hate you. Meanwhile, Larry Butts hasn't said anything in a long time. Just, just happy to be here. It was him, I tell you. I saw him. He he killed her, and he should burn. Burn. Give him death. Order. Order in the court, I say. Your Honor. Um, a moment, please. There is, there isn't a shred of evidence supporting the defense's claims. Mr. Wright. It looks like the defense has become the prosecutor, Your Honor. You claim the sound the witness heard came from the clock. Do you have any evidence? The whole case is riding on this. I'd better think it through carefully. Y your Honor, the sound Mr. Saw it heard was definitely this clock. A fact which is clear if you simply examine the clock's batteries. Try sounding the clock. Yeah, let's try it. Let's sound the clock now, here in this court. Your Honor, may I have the clock? I ask the court to listen very carefully. Beep. I think it's 8.25. That certainly is a strange way to announce the time. <laughs> well, he is the thinker, after all. So, we've heard the clock. What are your conclusions, Mr. Wright? Mr. Payne, can you tell me what time it is now? It's 11.20-25. Ah. As you can see, this clock is exactly three hours slow. Precisely the discrepancy between what Mr. Sawit heard and the actual time of death. So, Mr. Sawit, try to talk your way out of this one. Ha ha ha! You forgot one thing! Uh oh. What's he talking about now? <laughs> While it may seem like that clock is running three hours slow, it proves nothing. How do you know it was running three hours slow on the day of the murder? If you can't prove that, you don't have a case. What? He's right. H is he? How am I going to prove that? Well. Wh what? Damn it, I was so close. Mr. Wright? I, but yeah, it means he still picked it up and used it and shit. It, it seems like you lacked the curl evidence to support your claim. Yes, your honor. Get in, in, inducted in, inducted with. Uh, sorry, you can inducted with it. You know what? No, this game fucking sucks. Let's just turn it off. Fucking done. Alright. Alright. Let's play a different game instead. This game sucks. This is stupid. I'll take four out of it. We're done. Yakuza Zero? Yakuza Zero? Let's go to y Yakuza Zero, right? This game's dumb. It's dumb.
This <laughs> I cannot even take the witness. Unfortunately, this ends the cross examination, and Mr. Frank saw it. I come all the way down here to testify, and look what happens. You treat me like a criminal. A criminal. You lawyers are all slime. Grr, I almost had him. Sorry, Larry. I failed you. There's nothing I can do about it now. Not so fast, Mr. Saw. It. Oh, Mia's gonna save the day! Mia, I mean, Chief. So, we, we once had a cat named Mia, so to me, like, she's a cat girl. Listen up, right? Don't throw this one away. Not like this. Think. But, Chief, it's over. I can't prove the clock was slow the day of the murder. Nobody can prove the. <laughs> I'm sorry if I'm being her brainlet, but I really don't understand why that matters. I guess it's just like the slam dunk to prove that everything he said was off or something? Okay, well, um, well, yes. But that doesn't mean you can't still win. Try thinking out of the box. Don't waste time doubting the facts. Assume the clock was three hours slow and think it- think through it. Ask yourself, why was the clock three hours slow? Figure out the reason and you'll have your proof. Right, right? Right? Yeah. Can you think of a reason as to why the clock would be three hours slow? Yes. Wait, maybe I can prove it. You must have evidence somewhere that can prove it, right? Find it and let them have it. Well, Mr. Wright, you say the clock was already running slow on the day of the murder. Have you found evidence to support this claim? Of course. There is a piece of evidence in the court record that can prove my claim beyond a doubt. Ha, tough words. Let's see you pull this one off. Let's see this evidence that proves why the clock was running slow. Alright, is anything else? The attorney badge! Yes! Okay. The victim had just returned from home abroad the day before the murder! As we all know, the time difference between here and Paris is 9 hours. When it's 4 p.m. here, it's 1 a.m. the next day there. The clock wasn't 3 hours slow, it was 9 hours fast. The victim hadn't reset her clock since returning home. That's why the time you heard when you struck her dead in your apartment was wrong. Proof enough for you, Mr. Saw It? Or should I say, Mr. Did It? Oh! Phoenix, tell him. Ugh. Oh. oh. Damn. We just killed a man. Order. Order, I say. Well. This case has certainly turned out differently than we all ex than we all expected. Mr. Payne, your witness? He, uh, er, he was arrested and has been taken away, Your Honor. What, and you, you missed that? Very well. Very well. Mr. Wright. Yes, Your Honor. I have to say, I'm impressed. I don't think I've ever seen someone complete a defense so quickly and find the true culprit at the same time. Thank you, Your Honor. At this point, this is only a formality, but... This court finds the defendant, Mr. Larry Butts, not guilty. Oh man, this court has confetti. Confetti court. And with that, this court is adjourned. Turns out that Frank saw it was a common common burglar. I think all, all the weebs in, in chat can confirm that this is exactly how uh, courts go in Japan, right? This is this is very accurate. True to life. He poses a newspaper salesman to check and see what, when people were out of the hoose that day. If anything, there's not enough confetti. When Larry... <laughs> When Larry went to the went to her apartment, the victim wasn't home. After he left, Mr. Sawyer let himself in to do his dirty work. While he was searching her place, the victim returned. Flustered, Mr. Sawyer grabbed the nearest blunt object he could find. August 3, 2.32 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby Number 2. Phew, I still can't believe we won. Right, good job in there. Aw oh, man, thanks mommy, congratulations. So thanks, chief. I owe it all to you. Not, not at all, not at all. You fought your own battles in there. 
It's been a while since I've seen a trial end on such a satisfying note. I've never seen the chief looking this happy. If she's this glad, imagine how Larry must feel. My life is over. Larry, you're supposed to be happy. What's wrong now? Oh, Nick. Don't worry about me. I'll be dead and gone soon. What do you mean? Why is he calling him Nick? Is is Phoenix Wright his lawyer name? Like, when you become a lawyer, do you need to take a lawyer name? Or is Nick his nickname? Good. Wait, no, I mean bad. Bad, bad, bad. Oh, Nick, Nick become, Fiend Nick becomes Nick? Uh, okay, it's there. That's a bit of a stretch, but okay. I guess if they started calling him calling him Fee, and then it was Nick's, and then Nick's became Nick. Yeah, I guess so. Larry, you're innocent. The case is closed. But, but my Cindy Windy's gone, man. Gone forever. Larry, she was a... Nah, never mind. Congratulations, Harry. H -h Harry? Yes, you. I can practically see the headlines now. Harry Butts, innocent. <laughs> uh, uh, I'll his hand through the sleeve. Uh, uh, thanks, I really owe you one. I won't forget this, ever. Let's celebrate. Dinner, movie, my treat. Oh, no, I couldn't. Hey, I was the one who got you off the hook. Oh, hey. Here, take this. It's a present. A present? For me? Wait, wasn't this the evidence that... Actually, I made this clock for her. I made one for her and one for me. R really? You? For real? You made this? Well, thank you. I'll keep it as a memento. Maybe dinner's back on the table. Literally. Yo, Nick. Can you believe it? I was so into that chick. And, and she was just playing me for a fool. Don't that make you want to just cry? Sob. Larry. Are you so sure? Uh, excuse me? I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Hey, you're just in time to see the lawyer thought. There's a lawyer thought? There's a lawyer thought, yeah, there she is. You see her? Oh, wow. Yep. Yeah, she sways the jury, huh? Uh-huh. She sways something, all right. When she turns, she has to, like, the, the truck backing up sound. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. Thank you for the mocha. <sighs> I think she thought quite a lot of you in her own way. Nah, you don't gotta sympathize with me. It's okay. Oh, I'm not just sympathizing, really. Isn't that right, right? Don't you have something to show your friend? Something that proves how she felt about him? Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, right. What the heck is she talking about? My lawyer badge! Uh, I don't know, actually. It's not. It, it can't be the lawyer badge. It can't. Is it? Is it that she kept the statue? Is it? I'm a lawyer. Believe me, I'm an excellent judge of character. So there we go. I get it. It can't be that. It can't. It, maybe the passport, not the blackout. It's just this. The passport has information in it that we don't know about, or the statue. It's gotta be the statue. She kept the statue. Check this out, Larry. Proof positive. You weren't just some chump to her, huh? What about that clock? This is the clock you made for her, Larry. And she took it with her when she traveled. Whatever. She probably just needed a clock, that's all. You think so? It's a pretty heavy clock to take traveling. Well, make of it what you will. Hey, Nick. I'm glad I asked you to be my lawyer. Okay, so the fact that it's heavy and it's hard to take, um, so that it was, like, work to take it with her, that actually makes sense. Okay, that's pretty good. Alright. I was about to say... Alright, so everyone in this world is a goddamn idiot, and you have to spell everything out, but no, that actually makes sense. There's some nuance to that. Okay. Really, I am. Thanks. Hope that made him feel a little better. Right? I hope you see the importance of evidence now. Also, hopefully you realize things change depending on how you look at them. People, too. We never really know if our clients are guilty or innocent. All we can do is believe in them. 
And in order to believe in them, you have to believe in yourself. Right. Listen. Learn. Grow strong. Never let go of what you believe in. Never. Alright, so when is she gonna die? Well, I think our work here is done. Shall we be off? Yeah, I guess so. Say, how about dinner on me? Like, literally? We'll drink a toast to innocent, but- oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, speaking of Harry, you were saying part of why you became a lawyer was because of him. Er, yeah, part at least. You'll have to tell me more about it sometime, maybe over drinks? Oh man. So you're saying that we have to look at people different ways. So we have to look at, start looking at you less as less as lawyer boss mommy, and more as uh, partner and like girlfriend at law. All right, we're in. And so my first trial came to a close. Larry slapped me on the back and said, "Gee, Nick, it's good to have friends, but I'm pretty sure he's not going to pay us. Not unless <laughs> unless you count the clock he gave me up." I didn't know it then, but that clock was soon going to be at the center of another incident, and my promise to tell the chief about me and Larry would be one promise that I wouldn't be able to keep. Oh shit! All oh, the end. All right. So next one. Wow, that was short. Okay. Well, it was a Game Boy game, so a brand new episode has been added. Fucking anime. Save your progress to this point? Yeah. Yeah. Cellular. Bring. Bring. Beep. Hello, this is Maya. Hey, Maya. It's me, Mia. Does she have a sister named Maya? Maya? What's up? You haven't called in a while. Sorry, I've been so busy. How have you been? Well, lonely, and it's all your fault. Nah, I'm just teasing. I've been great. I'm finally getting used to having my own place. That's good to hear. Actually, I'm calling because I have a favor to ask. I know, I know. You want me to hold evidence for you. Sharp as always. There's a lot of buzz about the upcoming trial. I just don't feel safe keeping the evidence here. I gotcha. So, what is it this time? Isn't it? Don't we know it's Maya? Like, didn't she say the name? Or is Mia like Maya and Mia? Okay, whatever. Let's keep going. It's a clock. A clock? Yeah, it's made to look like a statue of the thinker, and it tells you the time. I thought you might like it. You always like toys. Hey, I'm... <laughs> Yeah, I'm not a little girl anymore, sis. <laughs> Why are you showing me? Why are you showing me? I'm right. Why are you showing me? I'm right. Now, now you know I'm only teasing. Uh, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I had to take the clockwork out. Sorry. I put some papers inside it instead. Papers? Is that the evidence then? Hmm. Well, there's a possibility that it might turn out that way, yes. Can you come by the office tonight, say 9, to pick it up? I'll be in a pretty... A pre, sorry, pre-trial meeting until then. Okay, sis. But I expect dinner. Something good. Like... Burgers. I could really go for a good burger. Me too. Okay, okay. We'll hit the usual joint. Alright, it's a deal. Alright, sis. See you soon. Yep, I'll be waiting, Maya. Alright, so it was Maya. So why was it question question mark? That was kind of weird. Conversation recorded. September 5th, 9.27am. That's going to be important. Alright. September 5, 8.57pm. Faye and Co. Law Offices. Now, Miss Faye, I'll take what's mine, the papers. I'm sorry, but I can't give you what I don't have. Miss Faye, you are a poor liar. Why, I see it right over there. That must be the thinker that swallowed those papers. How could you know? Ho, ho, you are not... Cogniferous of my background? Cogniferous. I do not know that word. I have never heard that word before. It, 
it, it's not it's not a real word. It's not a real word. Right? It's not anywhere. Alright, I was gonna play the Bug Snack song, but I don't wanna get copyright claimed. So just imagine that I did it and it was funny. Please laugh. Gathering information is my business, you see. I. Sh I should have been more careful. Ho ho, my dear Miss Faye, I am so very sorry. So are we going to notice that someone uses made up words and link it back to this later? But I'm afraid I must ask you for one more thing. Your eternal silence. Farewell, Miss Faye. Oh, waifu, no! Well, that was fast. I thought it would be like at the end of the game. Red, white, blue. Burgers for you. September 5, 908 p.m. Fay and Co. Law Offices. Uh-oh, I'm late. Huh, that's strange. Guess the chief left without me. She said her sister was coming over so we should all go out for dinner. What's that smell? Blood? Burgers? Maya. Maybe she's in her office. Examine, move, examine. All right, let's look for coins. Ba -ba -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check and see if Mia, the chief, is okay. Ba -da -ba -da -bum -ba -dum -ba -dum -bum -bum. I smell blood and that can't be good. I have to check if the chief's okay. I smell blood, that can't be good. Alright, how do I go back to moving? Uh, back, move. Office. That smell, blood. Sob, sis. Someone's there. Chief? 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 Chief! Same, same stone pendant necklace thing. Who are you? The strange girl dropped out of cold. I left her lying on the office sofa. I went back to the chief where she lay under the, w the window. Her body was still warm. I could feel it when I held her shoulder. Then, all too quickly, it began to fade. Until finally, she was cold. Chief. Examine. The plant! No clues here. What about down here? No clues here. Okay, so when it's yellow, I can see something, or are there hidden things too under the blue? Oh god. Oh no. Why are people getting mad at me for going straight to the plant? Is this your first stream or something? First time? What the hell? Chief. It's hard to, It's hard seeing her like this, but if there are any, are any clues here... She was struck on the head with a blunt object. She probably died instantly. The thinker lying next to her must have been the murder weapon. Is this gonna be the murder weapon for every case? <laughs> the murder weapon looks like a statue, but it's actually a clock made by Larry Butts. Hmm, there are some glass shards near the chief's body. Must be pieces of glass of the glass light stand lying broken in the back of the room. The broken remains of a glass light stand. Broken beyond all recognition. Nothing else seems like a clue here. Hmm. Piece of paper. It must have fallen from Mia's hand. What could it be? Leon. Okay. What? What's a glass light stand? 
A, a light stand for me is is like a, a small table you would put a light on. What is a, what? I, I feel like that's not what this is though. Is a light stand the top of the light? Like the top of the lamp? It's painful to look, but I have to for, for Mia's sake. Seiki. Wow, we combined them both. Looks like she was hit in the head with a blunt weapon. She probably died instantly. Alright. Oh, it says a check mark when you've inspected it. Cool, I like that. Some shards of glass are scattered on the floor. They seem to be the remains of a glass light stand. It's encrusted with blood. How ironic that this became the murder weapon. Again. Yeah. We're gonna be saying that a lot. The chief's chair. A simple, functional design. Feels pretty good to sit in too. Not squeaky at all. Oh, why was the chair important? Because she was sitting on a chair? There's a large building right across from the office. The Gatewater Hotel, a nice luxurious place. Hmm, why is that important? Okay, so we've inspected everything. Okay, not a big fan of doing the pixel hunt, but I guess that's, that's, you know, yeah, it's okay. A word is written in blood on the scrap of paper. Ayaya, did Mia write this? This piece of paper is a receipt from a department store dated yesterday. Receipt adds to the court record. All right, if it's upside down though, it's, Ba, 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 b, b, h, a, w, uh, a department store seat with letters written in blood on the back. I think it's enough snooping around for now. I better call the police. Alright, is that because I inspected everything or was it because I hit that trigger point? And find out what that, what that girl was doing here. Hey Leo, nice hat. You have to go back downstairs, okay? See you later. Close the door. Close the door. Leo is wearing uh, the Mario Odyssey hat. That girl just now, where'd she go? I put her right there on that sofa. Uh oh, I hope she didn't run on me. Yipes! Don't scare me like that. Um, excuse me, but who are you? It's okay, I work here. Maya, Ayaya, Maya Faye. Ayaya Faye? Maya, so Mia was writing this girl's name. Maybe I should show her the receipt? I never thought there'd be a use for evidence like this outside the courtroom. Okay, one second. The reception desk. I usually sit here. Let's call the police so we don't look suspicious. You couldn't cram more legal books in here, even if you wanted to. If you can gaze upon the shelves without feeling insignificant. The door to the chief's office is slightly open. You better not touch the doorknob. A large painting. I guess you'd call this modern art. I, on the other hand, call it a mistake. Ooh, we're not art lawyer. This sofa is for clients. It's leather, a real luxury model. Oh, it looks familiar. A small writing desk cluttered with office supplies. Okay, I think that's everything, maybe? Or... It didn't say we're done, but I'm guessing we are. All right, um, back, yeah, back. All right, let's talk before we present the thing. What happened? She seems to be in shock. I don't want to disturb her, but I have to know. Um, excuse me, can you tell me what happened? I came in, the room was dark, and sis, sis. So she was already deed. You and the chief, so you're the chief's sister. I'm her younger sister, and you were here visiting this late at night. Yes, she said she wanted me to keep some evidence for her. Evidence, yes. It was that clock. It was the thinker. Alright. Here's my attorney badge. Here, I want you to know. I'm sorry, I've never seen that before. Yeah, I know, because it's mine. 
All right. Before Mia died, she wrote a message with her own blood. She wrote it on the back of this receipt. Th 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 that's my name. Why? Why would she write my name? Please, just calm down. Why would she... Why would Sis write my name? Uh-oh. Now I've done it. I better hurry up and call the police. Oh, that was it? Okay. Hey, what do you think about this glass? This was lying next to the chief. I know. I saw it there too. I thought they might be pieces of the light stand. Hmm, maybe. Hey, what the fuck is a light stand? I've never heard of a glass light stand before. I've never heard of a light stand before! Um, about the thinker. The, the, the thinker. That was Osis Saab. Hmm, probably shouldn't have asked her about the murder weapon. Alright, there's no phone anywhere. Where do we get the phone? Oh, back into the office. Sorry. Examine. Can we go back over there or, or no? The Fay and Co. ledger book. Everything is written in the chief's ultra neat handwriting. It's a small office, but it makes a good bit of money. Nice. Surprisingly, the chief was never good with machines. About all she used this PC was this PC for was email. She picked up this ancient model at some garage sale for practically nothing. Oh, a plant! No, nothing. All the chief's important documents are packed in here. This is where she filed in her case for records and recent rulings. A perfectly normal office desk. The chief had a, had a very particular policy about office decor. Spend big on stuff the clients use, but keep your own stuff simple. Man, I wish we could get to the other side and see. I guess, I guess now that we've explored that, we can never go back there. Hmm. Wish there was something I could press to get back there. Why are you crying, chat? What's with all the crying cues? Like, come on. Stop crying. I, I mean, I'm, I'm upset I can't get back there to see our waifu either, but like, it's fine. We'll get over it. Right. I better call the police. That's funny. A few of the screws on the receiver are missing. It looks like someone was halfway through taking it apart. Police? Please, come quick. What, what was that? Someone screaming from outside the window. Is it like 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 World of Warcraft's Lich King? There there must always be a like a, a some big boobs. Like, okay, cool. She's staring right at me. She's holding a phone in her hand. All right. Well, I'm worried about that, but we have to we have to move over. I wish I could expect the window. All right. Let's cha cha over there. Street? Okay, we can't see anything else. All right. The phone receiver is still is missing a few screws. I better not use it. Oh, okay, cool. Okay, I think we're done. All right. The police! Sounds like they're coming this way. Freeze, police! Gumshoe, detective. Alright, I'm Detective Dick Gumshoe. See? Okay. Gumshoe? What an odd name. We received a report from the building across the way, see? Got a person saying they saw a murder. Must have been that woman I saw. Anyway, I don't want either of you moving one inch, okay? Great. Just great. Maya, wait. She wouldn't have. Nah. Whoa! Excuse me. Eek. This word Maya here mean anything to you? Um, that... That's my name. What? The victim drew this here on her own blood, see? With her dying breath, she wrote down the killer's name, see? 
Killer, I'm not. Case closed. You're coming down the, to the precinct, ma'am. Uh, I agree. This was an easy case. What? Mia's younger sister, Maya, was arrested on the spot. I was taken in for questioning and didn't get out until the next morning. My eyes were heavy. Knees weak, but I couldn't sleep. I sat around, waiting for visiting hours to begin at the detention center. I had to talk to Maya as soon as possible. September 6, 9.07 a.m. Detention center. Visitor's room. Wow, they have poor Maya locked up like a criminal. Is she still in her outfit? Yeah, of course she is. Okay. It's you. The lawyer. Good morning. Good morning. She looks so tired. Um, are you going to be my attorney? Well, that's what I wanted to talk to you about. It's up to you. Sorry, not a chance. <laughs> Maybe... <laughs> Maybe if I joke a bit, she'll cheer up. Ha ha ha, no way, Jose. Just kidding. I'm psychic. Eh, whoops, that didn't go so well. Eh, huh? Maya? Was that a chuckle? What? No, no. It's not that I like you or anything. It wasn't very believable, was it? Not really. I'm sorry. I just thought, since you'd make a joke, please, don't mind me. You're doing just fine. Who's trying to cheer up who here? I knew it. No one will believe me. What? Even you, when you found me in the office, you looked at me like I had done it. I thought her hair in the back was a little hat at first. Like for, like when we put the little hat on the coat on Trash Shan and Code Vein. I thought it was like she had a little top hat. Like, did I look at her like that? <laughs> no, no, I never thought. It's, it's okay, I understand. I also heard about you. Her? Yeah, Phoenix, why aren't we upset that your mommy's dead? It's like, come on, heard what about me. I was talking with, to my sister on the phone the other day. It was awful. Today, my junior partner... Today was my junior partner's first time in court. Wow, really? How'd that go? It was quite the scene. Honestly, I was on edge the whole time. It's been a while. Ha, huh, so he crashed and burned? He's a genius. One of those strike fear into the hearts of evil types. The only thing he's lacking is experience. Oh, and you'll give us the experience, right? Huh, sounds like it was fun. Well... <laughs> well, I know to go to where we get What are you guys doing to me, man? What are you guys doing to me? I don't know, Maya. I think you might want to wait. Give him three more years. That is, unless you want to be found guilty. Ah, that's what she said. Uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you. No, it's okay. It's true, I guess. But at the same time, I can't just sit by and watch. When I think of the person who did this to Maya... Mia! Fuck! I know. Examine. Alright, what's going on over here, cop? This guard monitors the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Smile for the camera. Right, that's it? Okay. No clues here. Move. Oh, we can can we just go back and then come back? Alright, see you later, Maya. September 6th, Faye, Faye and Co. Law Offices. The office is filled with police officers. They're all busy searching for clues. Hey, you there. This is a crime scene. Pal, no trespassing. Um, sorry, don't I know you from somewhere? Wait. You're that butts guy, aren't you? No, no, Phoenix Wright. How could anyone mistake me for Larry? Uh, I guess I got the wrong name, Mr. Wright. Sorry about that. That butts guy, he was a killer. And you're a no-killer, right? He was proven innocent. Um, right. And you were... Detective... Detective Gumtree! Alright, let's get it wrong on purpose. Um, Gumtree, was it? Detective Gumtree? Gum, Gumtree? Gum doesn't grow on trees, pal. Um... Um, and I'm one, I'm the one in charge here, so don't push your luck. Whatever you say, detective. Anyway, get the name right. And don't go calling me Dick. Hey, Dick, get over here. Yeah, yes, sir. Be right there. Um, ahem, you're her lawyer, right, pal? If you got business here, you better do it quick. Phew, he thinks I'm, Ma I'm Maya's lawyer. Alright. Alright, I'll be right back. Alright, back to the detention center. Hey, Maya, how's it going? Alright, I got you a present. 
Uh, it's it's my badge. Look, I'm gonna be your lawyer. Sorry, I've never seen that before. All right, all right, talk. Maya, there's something I've been wanting to ask you. Yes. What's with that outfit? Oh, this? This is what all acolytes wear. It's my uniform, you could say. Acolytes? Like people in religious training? What is it you do? Oh, it's nothing strange, really. I'm a spirit medium in training. Oh, no. Oh, no. A spirit medium? I'm pretty sure that qualifies as strange. Oh, no. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Yes, let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. Evidence? Yes, that clock shaped like the thinker. The one Larry made. How could that have been evidence in a case? Um, right. She said something about that. I remember. Do you want to hear it in her own voice? Her, her own voice? Yes. I'm pretty sure a conversation is on my cell phone. You recorded it. Yeah, I forgot how to delete those things. Alright, spirit mediums. So you're an acolyte, a uh, medium in training. That's right, the Fey family, especially in the women, have always been very sensitive to the spirit world. Wait a second, you said the Fey family? So Mia was into this stuff too? Of course. She left the mountain to follow her career, she said. Her powers were first class too. I had no idea. Huh, wait, what? So you're a real, a real honest to goodness spirit medium with ESP and all that? Yes, in training. So it's not just good intuition. She's psychic. Well, can't you contact Mia's spirit then? We can just ask her who killed her. No, it's not that simple. I I'm sorry. I suck. I'm still in training. I couldn't do something on that level. Hmm, I thought that would be too easy. Your cell phone. So you say you have a conversation with your sister on your cell phone. Can't wait for that to come up later. Let's hear it. Right. Oh. Just remember, that detective took my cell phone. Oh no, there's no evidence for this case. Maya, we need you to use your powers. Oh, Phoenix, I'm not ready. I'm still in training. No, Maya, I believe in you. You're ready. We can do it together. Okay, I'll try for you. Whoa! Evidence to crack the case. Thank you, Maya. I love you. Sorry. Oh, right, of course. Next time I see Detective Gumshoe, I'll ask him for it. I'll write you a note so you don't forget, okay? Sure, thanks. Maya's memo added to the court record. What conversation I have with my sister is recorded on my cell phone. Um, huh? Something the matter? Um, I was wondering, could I ask you a favor? This is the address of a famous lawyer. My sister gave me this a long time ago. She said if I was ever in trouble, I should call him. And, well, I'm in trouble. Do you think you could go and ask him to represent me? Oh, this is awkward. Hmm. Except, well, that, that's her right, sure. Hmm, sure, why not? I'll go ask. Thank you so much. I have no one else to turn to. Whoa! Say, what about your parents? I, I see, don't worry, leave it to me. Thank you, the trial's tomorrow at 10. What, tomorrow? Tomorrow. What if this guy refuses? They told me that if I don't find one, the state will pick an attorney to defend me. When will that happen? They're giving me until 4 this afternoon. And visiting hours are almost up. I better hurry. Right, I'll be back. Oh shit. Oh man. Alright. Let's go here first. Hey Gumtree. Mia. So about, about Miss Faye, did you do an autopsy? Hmm? You want to know the results, eh? Now don't look at me like that, pal. It's no use. She might have been your boss, but that doesn't mean you get any special treatment. Alright, alright. You can see the report, but that's all. Autopsy report added to the court record. Time of death. 9-5 at 9pm. Cause. Single blunt force trauma. Death was instantaneous. Then how did she write... Maya? Wow. So many plot holes in this game. What a plot hole that she died instantly, but was still able to write Maya on on the paper. What a plot hole. Maya. Um, about Maya. Yeah, I'm looking forward to the trial. Sorry, pal, but this is one trial you aren't going to win. Well, why do you say that? The city's put Prosecutor Edgeworth on the prosecution. Nice! Well, Prosecutor Edgeworth's not going to be on, on the defense. Fucking Chadworth! Is he here? Is he here? Chadworth. I'm sure you know what that means, you being a lawyer and all. Chadworth. Prosecutor Chadworth. 
That's right, pal. Mr. Miles Chadworth himself. Is everyone okay on board with calling him Chadworth for the rest of the playthrough? Wait, you do know him, don't you? Of course not. Never heard of him. Whoa, and you call yourself a lawyer, pal? About four years ago, this Chadworth guy became a prosecutor at the age of 20. Everyone says he's a genius. Surprised you don't know him. Of course I know him. I was just playing dumb. Damn, he's like the Chad to our virgin. That, that's favorable. He's a cold, heartless machine who'll do anything to get a guilty verdict. There are rumors of back alley deals and forged evidence. All I know for sure is that Chadworth hates crime with an almost abnormal passion. He's Chad Ketchy. I never imagined I'd be facing him so soon. Alright. Hey, I got, I got this. You want to see it? Hmm? What's that? Sorry, pal, but I got no info for likes of you. There was a piece of paper next to the victim, wasn't there? Yeah, the one with the killer's name written on it. Are you sure that Mia wrote it herself? Given the con condition of the writing, it's hard to say if it's her handwriting or not. So there's no proof that Mia wrote it. All right. Oh, another plant. Mia's favorite potted plant. I remember it had this bizarre name no one could ever remember. Cordeline Stricta, pal. Who was that? old movie poster. Apparently, this was the first movie that, that made Mia cry when she saw it. I have to check out check it out one of these days. Damn, so she was sensitive too. Mia's desk. Perfectly clean as always. The only thing that's missing is Mia. The sky is blue and so am I. <laughs> There's a hotel right across the way. The sky is blue and so am I. There's a horrendous amount of legal books here. Scarier still is that Mia probably read all of these. Damn. Okay, so there's no there's no queue. No. All right, I think we're, I think we are yeah, done here. All right, let's go back to uh, let's go here. September six, Grossberg Law Offices. According to the receptionist, the big boss is Oot. She couldn't say when he'd be back. It must be hard to keep track of everything when you're a famous lawyer. Not to mention run an office like this. I guess I'll just have to come back later. That painting has been bugging me ever since I stepped in here. The oil paint is so thick it's practically giving me a stuffed nose. I'm sure the price is nothing to sneeze at either, for that matter. Damn, traditional art versus the modern art that we had in, in our office. An expensive plotted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but it's probably the most expensive one available. So this guy's going to be like the, the old guard lawyer who's only in it for the corruption and the money, whereas we were new and we were in it for the people. Fucking symbolism. A table for clients. Hmm, an elegant ebony case, and if something's taken, that lighter's made of solid gold. Have a cigar. Even if I can tell someone... Even I can tell someone, to, someone here has got money to burn. That was awkward for me to say, sorry. A solid mahogany desk. The wood's been polished to a deep luster. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves filled with expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't look like they've ever been read. Huh. Compared to, compared to Mia. Did this guy kill Mia? No, I wouldn't do that. Alright, anything else here? Q. No. The plant. No. Desk. No, we're done? Really? Hey, he wasn't there. Hey, what is it? Did you meet the lawyer? Sorry, I haven't seen him yet. I see. Hmm, I'd better go see if I can find this elite lawyer she's talking to Boo. We went there already. Okay, I'm dumb. What am I missing? Desperate times. Desperate times. Desperate times. Alright. Back. Move. No, 
no. Okay, uh, anything left to talk to you about? No. Do I present you with something? Mia's autopsy, Mia's memo, conversation I had with my sister on cell phone. Here, have some evidence, bro. I was wondering, did you see my FA's cell phone? Oh, that? I have that. Do you think you could give it back? Sure, I mean, wait. Oh, oh, oh. Did she say that? Good with the phone? Yeah, she did say that. I didn't think we had to be given the paper, though. All right, I lucked out there. Sure, I mean, wait a second, pal. Tricky lawyer. Uh-oh, he's on to me. Tell him straight. Tell him not so straight. Let's be straight. If I tell him why I want it, there's no way he'll give it to me. Something the matter? Oh, okay. All right, it's just, you know, detective. No, nope, I know nothing, pal. That cell phone has a lot of numbers on it, like her boyfriend's. A cell phone holds all the little girl's sweetest and spiciest secrets. Er, you're trying to confuse me. Sorry, pal. I already checked all the numbers in memory. Impressive. You're quite the detective. Uh-huh. Oh, here, you can have the phone back. There weren't any suspicious call records in there, after all. Seems he didn't notice the recorded conversation. Holds a conversation between the chief and Maya. Maya's cell phone... Check the court record to hear the recorded conversation. Guess I've asked all the questions I need to. You all done, pal? Um, yes, thank you. I'll be heading out now. Oh, wait. One more thing I wanted to mention to you. I don't suppose you're planning on talking to that witness. Anyway, you better not. No influence in the witness with your lawyerly ways, pal. She looks like, like, if, if a pink frosted cake was, like, turned into a person. She's like, birthday cake, Chan. Like, what is this? This is ridiculous. Couldn't think of it. I had completely forgotten about her. The witness? Yeah, Miss April May. Alright. I'm sorry about this, but I can't tell you anything about her. Well, you just told me her name, Miss May, huh? So you've sent her home already then? Aha! Uh -huh. You're trying to lure, you're trying your lawyerly tricks on me now. She's not go she's not to go outside her room until the trial. So she's still in the hotel across the way. I guess I should I should know better than to try to get a detective to leak information. You got that right, pal. Time to pay a visit to Miss May. Maya says, Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. M Mia. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again, what is it this time? Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, we heard, we overheard this, right? See you tonight at 9. Alright. Damn. They called her Mia because she's missing in action now. She's deed. Deed. Chat saying it now, too! Fucking hell! I'm mad. I think chat did say it before I did, but I wasn't reading chat, I swear to God. Lawyer's honor. All right, so move. All right, so we can go to the hotel now. Here, I got your phone. Day of the crime. Could you tell me about the day of the murder? Sorry, I know it must be hard. No, it's okay. All I've been doing is the last few hours is talking about it. I've kind of gotten used to it. Let's see. That morning, I got a call from my sister. She wanted me to hold on to a piece of evidence for an upcoming trial. That's the thinker clock that Larry made. It practically qualifies as a serial murderer by now. So then, when did you arrive at the office? It was right around 9. The lights were off, and I could smell blood. But then I found her. My sister. Thanks, Maya. That's all I need to hear for now. What about your family? I only had my sister. My father died when I was very young, and I don't know where my mother is. Don't know? So she could still be alive? Your mother. The women in my family have been mediums for generations. They say a lot of spiritual power runs in our blood. About 15 years ago, our family was involved in an institute. There was a man, and he, he, he ruined our mother's life. Ruined? After that, she disappeared. Several years after that, my sister announced she would become a lawyer, and she left the mountain. So, you live by yourself? Yes, I've gotten used to it. Oh, also, I had to become independent or I would lose my powers. I feel bad for her all by herself by herself up, up on that mountain. Yep. Do you, like, hand glide off of it? Your mother's enemy. So, who was the man who um, ruined your mother? About 15 years ago, there was an unusual murder case. It made quite a stir. Everyone was talking about it, apparently. The police were running out of leads and they were getting desperate. Wait, they didn't use a spirit medium, did they? The police convinced my mother to try to contact the victim. Wow, so what happened? The case was solved, we thought. You thought? The man my mother helped the police capture was innocent. 
The police's consultation with the medium had all been carried out in secret, of course, but a man found out about it and leaked it to the, paper, to the press. He told all the papers that my mom was a fraud, and the media jumped on it big time. She, my mother, became the laughing stock of the nation. I see. White. Excuse me? White? That was his name. My sister told me. White? Didn't someone say, like, white, red, and blue? Was that was that Mia saying that when she died, or...? Hmm, okay. Alright. So I'm guessing that's gonna become a thing later, but not right now. Hey, I got your cell phone back. Oh, say, can I listen to my sister's voice? No. My eyes closed. She listened to every word with such intensity. Before long, tears began to roll down her cheeks. Thank you. You're welcome. No, we're not ready yet. So we have to go talk to the cake. To birthday cake Chan. Alright. September 6th. Gatewater Hotel. Room 303. A screwdriver? Oh my god, I hate her. I hate her so much. Oh, it's this is visceral instantaneous. I fucking hate her. Well, hello there, handsome. I take it back. I like her. Um, hi. Smooth, right? Real smooth. You're the lawyer, aren't you? The detective told me. He said, don't say nothing to that lawyer, pal. Teehee. Man with a self. Thank Detective Gumshoe for making my job harder. Gee, this is like something out of a movie. It's all so exciting. I can hardly contain myself. Oh, let me go freshen up so I can look the part of the beautiful eyewitness. I pity the lawyer that has to cross-examine this one. What did what did Becky say when she showed up? There's a screwdriver stuck in this drawer. I wonder what's inside. Let's take a look. Hey, 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 hey. What are you doing? Oh, she's nuts! Oh, okay. Alright, maybe I misjudged her. What are you doing? No touching. Ooh, bad boy. You really shouldn't play around in other people's rooms now. You wouldn't want to make me upset, would you? I'll bring back the other eyes. I don't like these eyes. Upset. I thought she was going to explode there for a, for a, sec for a second there. These are like turtle eyes. Bring back the other eyes. I wonder what could be inside the drawer. Let's just do it right in front of her. Hmm, what's inside, I wonder? Cough, cough, maybe later. Alright. The flowers are fake, as expected. I know some flowers and tulips, but that's about the extent of my floral knowledge. This represents the fake beauty of April, reflected in her choice of fake flowers. Ah, uh, a still scene painting. Wait, should that be still life? Whatever. One of those is hanging on the wall. Further emphasizing her fake life. The late summer sunlight steam streams through the window. There's the Fay & Co. law office building, of course. You can see the inside of the room pretty clearly from, he from here. I think it would be a little difficult to recognize the face from this distance, though. Alright. A bottle and two glasses are on the table. Somebody must be staying with her. Ooh. A simple bed. It it's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Alright. I sure do wish there was a you've looked at everything notification. Oh, can we cha cha? Hold on. Cha cha real smooth? No, we can't. Hey, I'm a lawyer. Excuse me, but I'm a witness, police witness, you understand? How could I possibly give you any information in good conscience, hmm? Me. The witness. It's just like in the movies. Damn. Alright, Jonathan. Alright, let's go. What you witnessed. Do you think you could tell me something? I need you to describe what you observed at the time of the incident. Oh, observe. Incident. You sound just like a lawyer in the movies. I like a man with a big vocabulary. Oh man, you're not gonna like me then. Um, golf better not encourage her. Or, you know, that thing that occur, um, happened the other day, that the bad thing? What did you see when it happened? I don't suppose you could tell me about it. 
pretty please. Let me see. Um, well, dream on. If you want to know, you'll just have to come to court tomorrow. Mr. Lawyer. Oh, boy. Alright. Um, could you just... Who exactly are you? Ooh, Mr. Lawyer. Are you hitting on me? No, no, no. Hey, I'm just doing my job here. Tee hee. You know. You're cute. When you blush. Believe me, this is the first time in my life I've blushed this much. Um, eh, right. Can you just tell me what it is you do? Well, no. Tee hee. And you had your little hopes up, didn't you? Oh boy. It's magic. I see there are two glasses on the table. Is someone staying here with you? Ooh, what amazing powers of observation. You must be one of those famous detectives like on television. Oh, no, not me. I'm er, just a lawyer. Say, Mr. Big Detective, why don't you go look for clues? In the garbage, hmm? Miss May doesn't like the nosy little lawyers. Humph. Oh boy. Alright. Hey, you kind of smell. Go take a shower so I can look in your in your screwdriver box. <sighs> Here, look at this. Excuse me, but I'm a witness. You understand? Do, 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 do. All right, I guess that's it. All right. Oh, wrong place. Shit. Hey, I just spoke to like a really awful person. All right, let's go tell Gumshoe. No, no. Do, 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 do. I like the music. Hmm. Seems like Mr. Gross Grossberg is out. Well, maybe I should just wait here for him to come back. Ahem. If that wasn't the most over-the-top clearing of the throat I've ever heard. Aha. Uh -huh. So you're the one they say has been looking for me. Uh, yes, that's me. He looks even grander than I imagined. Are you... Cogniferous? Hmm. That badge on your collar. Ah, so you're a lawyer, are you now? Yes, um, well, yes. And what do you want? I'm not particularly busy these days. Please, proceed. Not busy? Then how come no one could get in touch with you? Hmm, something the matter. You came to see the one and only Marvin Grossberg, did you not? Well, here I am, boy. What do you want? Out with it. Um, well, sir, actually, it's about Maya, Maya Fay. Ah, yes, Maya Fay. Go on. She's deed. Hmm, why the strange reaction? A uh, cha cha. Real smooth. I'm really quite busy here, son. I can't go taking cases on a day's notice. No, it's quite impossible. Well, wait a second. How did you know the trial was tomorrow? Irk? Ahem. It's, it's my business to know this. I'm a lawyer. Anyway, I'm afraid it's entirely impossible for me to represent her. Sorry, end of discussion. What's going on? You refused me before I even got a chance to ask him. What do I tell Maya? Alright. I'm a lawyer. Very sorry, but I have not nothing to say regarding this matter. Alright. Your refusal. How can you just refuse like that? Please, tell me why you won't take the case. Hmm. Ahem. Well, you see, it's just I'm busy, you see? But the client is M Mia Faye's sister. Hmm. Ahem. Mia trusted you. She knew her sister would be in good hands. Yes, yes, of course. I know that. However, I'm sorry, but I, I must refuse. Sorry. Goodbye. Okay, I kind of, I kind of like this guy. He wasn't as expected. So, like, what's going on here? Does he want like were Mia, were Mia and Grossberg discussing like Phoenix and how he should like take cases? And he's like, no, I don't want to take this because you have to prove yourself in court right now because now Mia's dead. But that's that's like you you wouldn't do something like that when it's like her like she's dead and her sister is is the one that might be going to prison. That doesn't seem right. But it's anime, so you know, creep. Fine, I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Hold on, I'll just let me down the rest of this. Thanks. I'll be down in about um, probably 10 minutes to walk about. Where's it going? Okay. I don't have time to argue with you anyway. I'll go look elsewhere. Grumble. Think not. Huh? Did you say something? I think not, I said. What, what do you mean? I'm terribly, terribly sorry. But I'm afraid that no lawyer worth their salt will take on this particular case. Terribly sorry, my boy. Why? I, I cannot say. I beg your pardon, but could you leave? Now, I have nothing more to discuss with- Okay, I was wrong, there's something bigger going on. What's going on here? Mia. 
How did you know Mia Fei? She worked here a long time ago. Quite the apprentice, that one. Learned my techniques in the blink of an eye, uh-huh. She left one day, quite suddenly. She had a mission, you see. A mission? You could see it in her eyes. She followed it with a burning passion. Never looked back, that one. That's quite a painting. Aha, you noticed. It's my pride and joy. Impressive, isn't it? Well, isn't it? The color of the sky, the hue of the sea, the weave of the straw hat. It's blue and so am I. It's worth at least three million. I have no intention of parting with it, of course. No, I won't sell it, not even to you. I wasn't interested. It's not for sale. Stop asking. I'm not buying. Jeez. All right, cool. Uh, are we done? I think we are. You done? All right. Let's go tell um, uh, Maya that we that we're her lawyer. September 6, 3.42 p.m. Detention Center. Visitor Center. Hiya. Hiya, Maya. Oh, you're back. Did you find the lawyer? Um, well, what do I tell her? Well, see, just be honest. I, I really don't think you should use that guy. He didn't seem healthy. He was all skin and bones. What really happened? You don't mean he refused to help? Erp. I see. I've been abandoned then. Just a little longer now before the state-appointed lawyer comes, I guess. 4 p.m. Time's up. What should I do? Do I just leave her and go home? Yep. There's nothing left for me here for me to do. She'll be better off with a state-appointed lawyer. I think I better go home now. Goodbye. Wait, what? It was a few days later when I found out how the story ended. The result of the trial was in the newspaper. Guilty. I'll probably never meet her again. Did I make the right choice? Will I ever know? Mia, if you if you can hear me, please tell me. Ooh, no. No, not. I can't let that happen. I'm not leaving here until she takes me as her lawyer. I've made up my mind. I'm going to defend you whether you want me to or not. What? Why? Why? Well. I don't know why. <laughs> to be honest, I don't know. You don't know? Is this girl sitting in the front of me? <laughs> Is this girl sitting in front of me the killer? All the evidence seems to say yes. Ah. But there's something about this whole thing that smells fishy. That witness is strange behavior. Was that all an act? I think she's just psycho. And the way that lawyer refused to help out Maya. But more than all that, she has no one left to help her. Nothing is more sad or more lonely than that. I know. I've been there. A long long time ago, said the 22-year-old. Why did I become a lawyer in the first place? I've forgotten, because someone has to look out for the people who have no one on their side. There's only one thing I know for certain. I won't abandon you. You can count on me. That's so kind of you. Sniff. Well, Let's fight this one and get you out of here. Right, thank you. Phew, she smiled at last. She looks like an entirely different person. One last question. You are innocent, right? Yes, and I trust you. So you trust me too, okay? It's a deal. So, what next? There's something that's been bugging me. Just what was inside that strange... <laughs> <laughs> I tried looking at the drawer that she got all defensive. There has to be something in there. <laughs> Why am I being Joed? What the hell? It's funny. Good afternoon, sir. Excuse me, you are? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir. I am the bellboy of this establishment, at your service, sir. Oh, right. I've just come out to deliver room service, sir. Um, do you know where Miss May might be? Ah, I believe our guest Miss May is currently using the, uh, facilities. 
If you've no need of anything, I'll be taking my leave. Please, stay as long as you like. Enjoy. Yeah. Wait. No. Hey. Why does it seem like every time I come up here, I end up embarrassing myself? Wait. Now's my chance to snoop around a bit. Ah, I almost... <laughs> Guy, you came back quick. Maya asked you to inform Miss May that there is a message for her. Please tell her that Mr. White of Blue Corp phoned. Oh no, not Blue Corp. So, where's the red? White, blue, where's the red? Was red the blood? White, blue. Oh, right, sure. Mr. White of Blue Corp? Where have I heard that name? White. That was his name, my sister told me. White was the name of the guy who ruined Mia and Maya's mother. Could it be a coincidence? All right, all right, cool. All right, so now's our chance to, to look at the screwdriver box while, while the, the cake chan's in the toilet. But first, hold on. Hey, we have more information on White. No? Okay, hold on. Hey, do you know a White? Is that why you won't go? No? Okay. Hmm. All right, well, I guess that's it. Damn, no doubt about it. It's shit. There's a screwdriver sticking out of that half-open drawer. Now's my chance to see what's inside. What do we have here? A wiretap? Huh. What would a woman like her be doing with a thing like this? Wiretap added to the court record. Maybe she likes to record... It. Found in Miss May's hotel room. There's definitely something suspicious about this Miss May. I really like the music in this game. Why would she have something like this in her hotel room? her hotel room. There's a story behind all this. I know it. Alright. I'll be using this bit of evidence in tomorrow's trial, that's for sure. For Maya Sake. I'll get to this woman's bottom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, why are you all joining me? I'm like, I'm like totally in tune with this game's tone. F fuck you guys. Me and the game are like, like I'm picking up on shit. We are like synchronized as fuck. Like, come on. Oh, this fan art? Hold on. Let me, um... I need to walk the puppies. I, I'm assuming we're about to go into the trial. So let me save it, and I'll walk the puppies, and then we'll do fan art. Or I'll do fan art. I'll, I'll, put, I'll put that fan art on the screen before I go out. So there's something on the screen. Oh, bellboy. Still there. Uh-oh. Time to scram. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May. Okay, can I... Can I save it? Save. Save. All right. So this is the kind of game that you want to cycle a lot of your saves on, because uh, there's scenes that you're going to want to see later. All right. Uh, let me see the fan art. Well, I'm not eating anything, it's a bottle of frozen water. I need to make a... Ace Attorney fan art folder. Day one. And uh, here's some, here's this, this piece of fan art might just stay on OBS's browser and I will just like make it visible and invisible as appropriate. This is evergreen fan art. <laughs> Why are you showing me? I'm right. Ah, <laughs> oh, there are more. Yeah, I, I need to walk the puppies out because they're about to pee. So I'll be back in about um, five to ten minutes, and then uh, we'll all show fan art. I'll say thank you to subs and everything, and then we'll continue into the, the trial and guessing. So I'm gonna use the microphone. I'll be back in a bit. Wow, baby's upset.
folks do know there's a spoiler chat in Discord, right? Some of them might not. So if you uh, don't know that, yeah, if you want to discuss spoilers, uh, go on to Discord and you can discuss it there. Is there any way I can contribute mono coins against the AI fund? Not yet, no. They have to get it real close to winning before we do that. Got to tease them with it. Once it gets below 100 million, well, you'll be able to add to it. Lorelei is the best girl of the Pokemon franchise and is the waifu of Mops96. Not only is she the best girl in Pokemon, she's the best mommy waifu in history. The perfect blend of strict librarian and tasteful, tasteful midriff shots. Is there such a thing though? Also, I've never actually redeemed monocoins before, so I probably fucked this up somehow. Okay. Tasteful ludes. Okay, so I have two other pieces of fan art. Are there any others? that one on the screen <laughs> hello I am Mia I will be your waifu for this game objection does does breast size those breast size breasts are way too normal. I have been promised more. What? <laughs> Case closed. I am the breastest attorney detective. <laughs> Fuck. Ah. <sighs> uh. Judge Chan, Phoenix Wright, Joe's YouTube strikes. Oh shit! Damn. Yeah, we're 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 gonna win for sure. And that's why we're playing this game, right? For training. Remember your training. Um, hold on, I'm being rude. So. This one is made by Alex7, posted by Nabra. Uh, the one we had before with the Breastless Detective was made by Rune. And the one we had before the break was made by Merrick. This one was made yesterday for yesterday's stream, but uh, it didn't come in in time. This is made by Rune. These are vampires. What? We lost the vote. Preposterous. It's all the weebs. Joe's chat is infested with them. The what? Sexless, pale, and very elusive. They hardly ever leave their lair, and they can't be reasoned with. Weak, alone, but united, a power to be reckoned with. So they are like the Nosferatus. Uh, my ass is touched by moonlight. <laughs> what? Shut it, Kevin. Is this Nosferatu-chan? Can 
fact that this is screen. Do 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 do. There you go. There you go. Maybe a little a little bigger so they're on the screen. There you go. Sorry, chomping on some ice there. Thank you for that rune. I think this one's by Kutsu, who's Anity on um, on Discord, right? Oh, they're both by Q2. Okay, one second. So we'll put this one up first. <laughs> cake, cake, cat girl, cake chan? Oh no. Oh no. Ko Kogi Furious? Or some shit. <laughs> Nice, nice. So three seven is the mouth the zero and the candles are one one, one one zero three seven. Hmm, get, getting subtle, getting more difficult. All right, I approve. Nice. Do oh, and it's this credit on on the on the image itself. Good, 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 good. I think there's one more. Oh, is this because I said that uh, we had a cat named Mia? So she's 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 cat <laughs> cat girl lawyer mom. <laughs> hmm. Lawyer Joe is a bit uh is a bit like exasperated there. Like, hmm. Why are you always playing Japanese games with no real time ga gameplay? I don't know. This is just this is what the audience wants, man. Just like I've lost control of the channel to the Witcher, we've lost control of the streams to the Weebs. <sighs> Soon the audience becomes the content. You know that. Tem oh, it is Temmy. Yeah, the Temmy. I can see the Temmy face now. I completely forgot about Temmy. Shit. I forgot about Dre and Undertale for a second there. Hoi. Hoi. Please do voices for everyone. I can't do voices for everyone. I'm bad at voices. Unless you want bad voices. Okay, so that's all the fan art that I can see. Uh, that's posted in, in the stream museum anyway. And was linked to me. And let me say thank you to a bunch of people. Who's the last person we said thank you to? Ice Devil 242 or Hydus? I think it was Hydus, right? Just in case, thank you to Ice Devil 242 again and Hydus. Thank you, Toxel, for gifting five subs to Adam Northwest, Q2, Lanundra, etc., and Alterna Hunter. Thank you to Indie Gamer Luke for the for the time of three sub. Faye Florit91 for the new sub. Tell69 for the 200 bits. Joe, the blood looks weird. It's red. <laughs> so used to Dangarampa. This is Dangarampa 4, right? This came out like way before Dangarampa, didn't it? Like way before. Like 10 years before, maybe? Thank you, Crimson Blade, for the new sub of Prime. Thank you, DJ Squig, for the same five bits. Grill Scout for the 11 month resub. Insert that one mass killer knife still from Dangarampa. Shit, I should have had that prepared. God damn it, that would have been good. That's my desktop background on my laptop. Has been since then forever. I'd laugh every time I see it. Thank you, Laku Swine, for the new sub. Thank you, Palmitos254 for the new sub as well. Swamps, with it spelt differently, for the 5 month resub with Yusuke. Thank you, Swamps. Uh, the Mighty Jerboa for the new sub. Thank you very much. Ranakel for the 17 month resub. Something something, haha, <laughs> sprinklers, am I right? Ooh. Thank you, Chefin, Chefin for the 7 month resub. What the fuck, Joe? I watch your streams too much. Every time I said cool, it's, I said, cool. 
Some people tell me that, that some some words have been ruined for them for the streams now, like useless and for real. Uh, thank you, Gaylander, for the 313 sub. You better click on every ladder, exactly. Gotta click on everything. Everything. Uh, thank you, Sutsun, for the 2713 sub. Yo, it's Attorney Paw. Yes, he's been going well so far. I'm enjoying it. It's pretty funny. Thank you, Henry Wyatt, for the 213 sub. Hi, Joe. You hilarious. Thank you for your videos. Hope one day you'll play Deadly Premonition or D4 and will die of laughter. I think we'll try Deadly Premonition at some point. It looks like fun to me. It looks we really weird. Thank you, Zornho, for the 500 bits. So nice to see you streaming again, Joe. If you could describe how you feel right now using a Witcher NPC quote, uh, what would that be? Oh, shit. Um... If you're about to be hanged, ask for a drink of water. You never might never know what might happen before they bring it to you. There you go. That's how I feel. Thank you, Merja, for the 513 sub. This is LA Nor levels of intricate and understated body language. That was two hours ago. When was that? When we were when we were um when uh, Mia was on the screen. Uh, Lagardia91 has used has given 1,200 bits. Uh, cheer, cheer, cheer. Now I can't wait for Phoenix to write 10-hour video critique. Thanks for making great content. Oh, no. Is that, is that what's going to happen now? We're going to get sucked in and do the video critique? We have to do Dang Dangarampa first. We got to. Thank you so much for the bits, LaGuardia91. 77 Hockey has used subscribe for 27 months. Thank you. Gaylander has used 250 bits as well as the from earlier. I'm so excited for you to get later into the game. Does it get better as it goes on? I thought it started quite well, actually. Like, it, it established that it's a bit wacky and off the wall, and I like that. I appreciate that it did it right from the beginning. I'll have to keep that in mind as we go on. Thank you, Equist, for the six-month resub with the message, got him. Uh-oh, what'd I do? Thank you, Isolated Space Man, for some bits. Are we getting an Objection Chan emote, Kappa? Maybe we should try and, and pick an emote, like, early in this one for, for the rest of the, uh, for the rest of the chat. Maybe we should get an Objection emote. Hmm, I'll think about it. Thank you, Isolated Spaceman, as well, for music stream now. Hmm. I can't remember when that was two hours ago. I think... When was that? Maybe we were bopping. V Red V? No, we're not having my yeah yeah. No. No. You're not You're not going to put that evil on us. No. Thank you, V Red V, for the 23-month resub with Strem. <laughs> Ethereal Seth has given the sub to Joe is not a simp. This is true. I'm not a simp. I'm way too complicated to be a simp. Thank you, Uber Raven, for the new sub with Prime. Thank you. Thank you also, Ark Koto and C Casarella for the new subs as well. Thank you very much. I say Space Man used some bits to say that murder weapon should stay in court for Saw its trial. Lol. I, I thought that, but I think it's a different one, isn't it? It's a, it's it's like there are two, and he gave the other one. Maybe not. Um, one Sua 110 Fuckom has resubscribed for 12 months for a whole year. Hola, holy guacamole, Jojo Kun has returned. It's been one year, my dear son, dear. How crazy, AC, horny attorneys look at so far. <laughs> All right, you're an anime person. Thank you very much for that. You're matching the tone of the game for sure. Thank you, Bola's, Re Bola's Rector. Ra Raker? Raker, I think Raker. I'm so bad with names. So 12 on 3 sub, welcome to the One Year Club. We're back, boys, and with my favorite series. Good for you, Joe. We're back on our bullshit. We're here with some weeb games. I say Space Man, you some more bits. When is Canada changing the time zone? Because Chili is changing it on September 12th, and then I could watch your streams from the start. As of now, I missed the first hour. I have no idea when we're changing. I'm actually one hour ahead of Eastern, so... Yeah. It's sometime soon, isn't it? Or maybe it's in... Is it in October? Fuck, I can't remember. Or November? I'll ask Lily. Lily's, Lily's good with time. Uh, thank you, Captain Quirk, for the new sub. Thank you, Gia Giano, for the new sub as well. Sorry for your mispronouncing your name, it's probably wrong. Thank you, ZipZap, the electric newt, for the six month resub. Witcher vids are good. Nice job, proud of you. Thanks, ZipZap, I'm glad you like them. Thank you, Sia So to the Co. Sia So to the Co. I hope, for the new sub. Mycologist has resubscribed for 28 months. Thank you, Mycologist. Just James A. Just James A. Just Monica, thank you, Just James A, for the new sub. Forgotten Saurus, forget, sorry, forget a Saurus. <laughs> I like that, forget a Saurus. Thank you for the new sub. Uh, Ill fitting trousers, uh, story of my life for the, for the form of three sub. Thank you very much. How do you like this game? I like it so far. It's funny. I'm enjoying it. It's very entertaining. We've just done the tutorial though. I kind of feel like we're still in the tutorial. Uh, Trent Guy and stuff says you said now is our chance to examine the drawer while Kate Chan is in the toilet today Yeah, I know it's uh, video games. They make you say weird things, huh? Merger use 100 bits to say because we nicked that wiretap It's inadmissible as evidence to the fruit of the poisonous tree doctrine. Nah Nah, this is it's kangaroo court. We're fine. 
Uh, thank you, Velathon, for the new Subway Prime. Thank you very much. Uh, Sony Cactus is cheering. Thank you. Anonymous has gifted a sub to Secret Anaya. Hmm, what could it mean? Uh, <laughs> Mia is dead. Uwu. Thank you, Anonymous, for gifting those subs out. Uwu? Uh, Nail, I think. It's a four, so I think it's an A. So, Nail, thank you for the new sub. Nail, thank you, Yedicus Ye <laughs> Ye 7. Or Yedicus the 7. Thank you very much. Uh, Caprols is also sub. There's so many subs. Holy shit. Thank you so much. Uh, XX My Lord has resubscribed for four months. Love you, dude. Thanks for the fun. You're welcome. I'm glad that you're having fun. Hope it's been a fun time so far. I haven't been really reading chat much. It's been open, but I've only been glancing at it. So I'm only really seeing emotes more than anything else. Uh, this game would have been so much better if the judge was Monokuma. I agree. I agree. Nightman has subbed for the first time. Thank you very much, Nightman. Uh, Koodman has used some bits. This stream already looks like fun. Hope you will be happy with it as well. Have a nice day. I said to send you some bits again to say it's your fault. I pronounce sa sake as <laughs> sake as sake. <laughs> Ralph calls you 100 bits to say, I got seven years for breaking a mirror, but my lawyer thinks he can get me five. Nice. Nice. I like little superstitions like that. They're cute. They're very romantic. Thank you, Frau Bad in Ken, in Chen, I think. Frau Bad in Chen? Frau Bad in Chen? Maybe that's one, some of that is one word and I'm uh, saying it wrong. I'm sorry. Frau Bad in Chen, maybe? Maybe. Thank you for the new sub. And the last three on my list are Action Cater with 100 bits. Should I get this game? I'm intentionally not watching the stream to decide for for myself to buy it hope you enjoy it uh i think it's pretty good so far but yeah i would watch the first b bit and see if you think it's it could be fun for you like we're making connections we're paying attention it's pretty good tell 69 use 100 bits to say can't wait to meet my favorite character miss mr e use guy yes yes guy mr yes guy okay i feel like i feel like i'm missing a joke there or maybe maybe it'll come up later. Oh, mis mysterious guy, mysterious guy, mysterious guy. There we go. There better be a guy named that. It would it would fit. And thank you. Last but not least, to played or plaid max. I think it's plaid max. No, it's played played max for the new sub. Thank you very much. All right, that's it. I got there. I'm sorry. Bit slow. Bit overwhelmed today. All right, let's finally play some Hellpoint. Here we go. I look forward to tangoing with you tomorrow, Miss May, in court. Ooh. To be continued. Oh, we were right on with when we were going to. Oh, it saved it for us. Shit. Yeah, let's save it again. Turnabout Sisters. September 7, 10 a.m., District Court. Sprinklers off. Courtroom number one. <gasps> He's here! Court is now in session for the trial of Miss Maya Fay. Or Maya Fay. He's here. Chadworth is here. What was Akechi's voice? What, did, what voice did we have for Akechi? <clears throat> He's very fancy, though. Prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. No, fuck. What, what kind of voice did uh did did Jay Ketchy have? He had a, he had a very kind of like just plain voice, right? The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. Huh. Huh. <laughs> Const constantly amused. Huh. <laughs> the prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Oh, we kind of look look uh, like Miles Chadworth. I better not show any signs of weakness today, or he'll be on me like in an instant. I hope so, Mr. Chadworth. Please give the court your opening statement. Thank you, Your Honor. The defendant, Miss Mayfe, was at the scene of the crime. The prosecution has evidence she committed to this murder, and we have a witness who saw her do it. The prosecution sees no reason to doubt the facts of this case, Your Honor. I see. Thank you, Mr. Chadworth. Let's begin, then. If we may call our first witness, Your Honor. The prosecution calls the chief officer at the scene, Detective Gumshoe. Witness, please state your name and profession to the court. Sir, my name's Dick Gumshoe, sir. 
I'm the detective in charge of homicides down in the precinct, sir, see? Detective Gumshoe, please describe for us the details of this murder. Very well, sir. Let me use this floor map in the office to explain. Oh shit, we got a map. Um, a map, on the map, on the map. The body was found here by this window, symbolized by this stretched out condom. And the cause... <laughs> Uh, and the cause of death, loss of blood to being struck by a blunt object, sir. Why are you joining me? I'm right. The murder, the murder weapon was a statue of the thinker found next to the body, sir. It was heavy enough to be a deadly weapon, even in a girl's hand, sir. The court accepts the statue as evidence. They're still calling it a statue. By my statue, floor plans added to the court record. Now, detective. All right, so let's let's just go with Yusuke because lawyer Yusuke is funny to me. Yes, sir. You immediately arrested Miss Miss Mayfe, who was found at the scene, correct? Can you tell me why? Yes, sir. I had heard I had heard evidence she did it, sir. See? Hmm. Detective Gumshoe, please testify to the court about this hard evidence. Oh, it's hard. Here we go. Hard evidence. My phase. As soon as the phone call came. Oh, so this is testimony. We can we can refute this. Okay. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. The defendant, Miss Mayafe. Mayafe. Sorry, I'm gonna fuck up her name like back and forth. And the lawyer, Mr. Phoenix Wright. I immediately arrested Miss Mayafe. Why? We had a witness account describing her. The witness saw Mrs. Mayafe at the very moment of the murder. Okay, but it was too far away to see, right? Hmm. The very moment, you say. Very well. Mr. Wright, you may begin your cross-examination. Yes, Your Honor. Cross-exam- Okay, so cross-examine is when we can refute the evidence. It wasn't during the testimony. Okay. Cross-examine what? I couldn't see a single contradiction in that testimony. Whoosh. Smack. Hey, Maya just threw something at me. It's the ghost of Mia. She's next to me. What's this? When my sister couldn't find any contradictions in a witness's testimony, she would bluff it and press the witness on every detail. The witness always slips up and says something wrong. It worked lots of times. Heh, I should have expected Maya would know some of her sister's tricks. Alright, let's give this a try. Something the matter? No, Your Honor. I'd like to begin my cross-examination. Maya's phase arrest. As soon as the phone call came in, I rushed to the scene. There were two people there already. Okay, so let's just press him, press him on everything. Who did you say you got a call from? Hey pal, don't play dumb. You know who. The call was from a customer at the Gatewater Hotel, right across from the crime scene. Hmm, okay, I pressed. Not sure if it, it did much though. Right, please continue. There were two people there already. Hold it! Detective Gumshoe, how long would you say it took between you receiving the call and your arrival at the scene of the crime? Hmm, right. I'd say it was about three minutes. But that's pretty fast. Our motto this month is quick response. That's how I got there before the I got there before the killer got away. Quick response, hard evidence. Indeed. So tell us tell us who the two people you found were on the scene were. Yes, sir. The defendant Hold it! Are you absolutely sure it was us? Listen, pal, your dumb math will only get you so far. With her funky hippie clothes and your spiky hair, you two stand out like like suspicious people at a crime scene. Oh man, he got us there. All right. Damn, I'm getting Danny and energy from Gumshoe. Well, he does have a point about her. She is pretty unmistakable. You should pick up my points. I should pick up my points to press with a little more care. Sorry, I should pick my points to press with a little more care. With a little more care. I can't read. Fuck. I immediately arrested Miss Maya Fay. No, you didn't. Why is that? What's your reason? Why? We had a witness account describing her. Hold it! Hold on, just one second. Yeah? If I heard correctly, you said you arrested her because you had hard evidence she did it, correct? Huh? Did... did I say that? Me? I heard you say it. You did say it. You said... <laughs> Exactly, what about the suspicious woman if Pink's claim was hard evidence? 
have you seen have you seen that comic where they're they're at court or something and and um the the prosecutor is is pressing one of the witnesses and the witness does like like says yeah but what if i did this and he does a magic trick and makes it disappear and then the defendant starts clapping the judge is clapping and then even the prosecutor is clapping i fucking that, that that's what that was like i fucking love that comic i'll have to find it later in the pink exactly what about the suspicious woman in pink's claim was hard evidence what miss may isn't sus isn't suspicious and she sure isn't pink pal what? Are you, are you colorblind, Danny? Well, I guess she is pink. Okay, there we go. That's enough, Detective Gumshoe. Do you have any more solid proof other than her claims, Detective? Um, hmm. I guess pressing can have its advantages. Yes. Gah. Sorry, I got the order of things mixed up in my testimony, Your Honor, sir. There's something I should have told you about first, Your Honor. Very well, Detective. Let's hear your testimony again. Do... Witness testimony. Hard evidence. Okay, so that time just pressing got us through it, I think, right? After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Slam fucking dunk. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's, and we got that done in 24 hours. We're a very efficient police station. Quick with hard evidence. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Case fucking closed. Time to pound out some brewskis. How you like that? That's my hard evidence. Hmm. Before we begin cross-examination, I have a question for you, Detective. You, Your Honor. Why didn't you testify about this vital piece of evidence the first time? Uh. Uh. I don't know. I'm. I'm real embarrassed. I forgot about it, Your Honor, sir. Try to be more careful. Very well. The defense may begin its cross-examination. Hard evidence. After securing the suspect, I examined the scene of the crime with my own eyes. I found a memo written on a piece of paper next to the victim's body. On it, the word Maya was written clearly in blood. Lab test results showed that the blood was the victim's. Also, there was blood found on the victim's finger. Before she died, the victim wrote the killer's name. Nope. Nope, 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 nope. Uh, death was instantaneous. Tech to gumshoe. There's one thing I want you to clarify for me here. You say that the victim, Miss Mia Fey, wrote this note. That she was accusing that she was accusing the defendant, Mia Fey. That's really what you're saying? What? This isn't one of those lawyer tricks now, is it? Of course she wrote it. Who else could have? Ooh. You have it backwards, detective. But backwards. The victim is the only person who absolutely could not have written it. This is a report from your department, Detective. Immediate death due to a blow from a blunt object. She died immediately. Whoa, but... No butting your way out of this one, Detective. Order, order. The defense has a point. Someone who died immediately wouldn't have had the time to write anything down. Objection. Mr. Wright. I beg your pardon, but when exactly did you obtain that autopsy report? W when? The day after the murder, right? It wasn't the day of the murder, it was the next day. It was the day after the murder, the prosecution's point being. <laughs> that autopsy report is outdated, your honor. What, what? A second autopsy was performed yesterday at my request. Death was almost immediate due to a blow from a blunt object, but there is a possibility the victim lived for several minutes after the blow. I received the results this morning. No way. Aw, oh, damn, we just got counter-countered. Your Honor, it's quite easy to imagine that the victim did have time to write Maya. That is all. I see. Damn you, Chadworth. Fucking Chad. Should've known you have something up your sleeve. Handsome asshole. Why, Mr. Wright, you look shocked. Something you want to say? You're a sham, Chadworth. The detective's a sham. I'm a sham. The detective's a sham. Detective Gumshoe, you're a sham. <laughs> How could you give me a full report? <laughs> huh? I, I thought. 
Detective Gumshoe. Uh, I'm disappointed in you handling handing him the wrong report like that. Yeah, I I'm sorry, sir. Eh, can't be helped. You are at fault, Detective. This isn't going to look good on your evaluation next month. Well, what? But I, Your Honor, I submit this report to the court. Uh, understood. The court accepts the evidence. Aw, oh, damn, even the judge is kind of off-kilter. Why do you keep saying salary-cutting noises? What? Mia's autopsy report. Died from a blow by a blunt object. May have lived for a few minutes after being hit. Autopsy report updated in the court record. Well, Your Honor. The evidence strongly su seduced the victim was identifying the killer. I suppose that's the obvious conclusion, yes. Darn, this isn't good. The prosecution would like to call its next witness. This poor, innocent girl saw the murder with her own eyes. Let the witness, Miss April May, take the stand. This is ridiculous names. Exactly what part of her is innocent. Nice to me out you. I hate her so much. Witness your name, please. Whoa! Okay, she's been practicing that. April May, at your service, Master Wink. Oh shit. Order, an introduction should not require any reaction from the crowd. The witness will refrain from one from wanton winking. Aw, yes, your honor. This is not good. She's already captured the heart of every man in this courtroom. Not me and Chad, though. Ch Chadworth's faking. Tell us, where were you on the night of September 5th when the murder occurred? Aw, oh, damn, I dropped the meme. September 5. Um, gee, I was, like, in my hotel room? Tee hee. I checked in right after lunch. And this hotel is directly across from the Fay and Co. law offices. Meh? That's right, big boy. I'm good. I'm okay. I got past it. I got past it. Alright. Please testify to the court about what you saw. Witnesses account. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know, and then, oh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the defendant's chair. Then the woman, like, dodged to one side and ran away like magic. But that girl, she caught up to her and... And she hit her. Then the woman with the long hair, she kinda slumped. The end. That's all I saw. Every oh, little bitsy witsy wink. She winks with her boobs. Hmm. Well, Your Honor. I see. It is remarkably solid testimony. Not doing voices for this playthrough, by the way. I don't see a need to trouble the witness any. Wait, Your Honor. Yes, Mr. Wright? What about my cross-examination? I thought the witness's testimony just now was quite firm. Didn't you? <laughs> Why are you joking me? We're, we're right on fucking um, uh, tone with our jokes. Right on fucking tone. Don't understand why I'm being joked. Didn't you? Mr. Wright, I understand. You were Miss... Miss Mia's Faye's understudy, were you not? You must know her techniques well. Her cowardly way of finding tiny faults in perfectly good testimonies. Hey, how dare you? Well, Mr. Wright, will you cross-examine the witness? Oh, that was a testimonial, right? Yes, I'm doing it. I'll gladly proceed with the cross-examination, if only because I have a feeling Chadworth doesn't want me to. She has to have some weakness. Very well, you may begin your cross-examination. It was like nine at night. I looked out the window, you know. Okay, so let's see. We have a time here where you can refute, but also she couldn't see anything through the window. Remember? Was that evidence? 
The murder scene, uh, floor plans. Okay, I don't see anything that was evidence that we could say that we, you couldn't see anything through the window. Maybe this, the bro the the broken light that she didn't notice, she didn't mention that, or she um uh she couldn't see because the light was off or something. Hmm. What else is here? And then ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The one attacking her was the mouse girl sitting in the tennis chair. Then the woman like dodged to one side and ran away, but that girl she caught up to her and and she hit her. Hmm, that's it. Nothing really jumps out of the connection. Oh, it, she didn't hit her. There was It was with the thing. Hold on. Maybe I better press her on the facts a bit. Okay. Hold on. What if we press her on everything? Why did you do that? Huh? Why? Like, why what? Why did you look out the window? Were you expecting to see something? Oh, well, um, gee. What? That's it? She can't get out of this question that easily. I think she just did. I sort of, you know... Whoa, I had a feeling. Well, I have a feeling she's trying to avoid the question. Maybe I should press a little harder on this one. Go for it. Let's see how far I can run with this. Surely you must have had a reason to look out your window at that time of night. Oh yes, the good eyes are back. I, oh. Mr. Wright, I will not have you badgering my witness. Badgering? You insist on needing her with the needling her with these trivial questions. I really don't think it should be allowed. Yeah, yeah, stop him. Yeah. The poor girl. Order. Mr. Wright, you have been warned. Poor girl? What about poor me? You looked out the window. What did you see next? And then, ooh, I saw a woman with long hair being attacked. The woman with long hair, that was Mia Fey? Uh, mm, slender, sort of. Well, some people might say pretty, if that's your thing. Oof, just be an enemy for life. Your thing? And the person attacking her? The one attacking her was the mousy girl sitting in the tennis chair. How do you know she was the defendant? Huh? Well, you know, she, she had a girlish physique. Women know these things. Look, I just know, okay? There was only one only one person at the scene of the crime with a short girlish figure. The testimony is bulletproof, Your Honor. He's right. I question the testimony. Hold on a minute. That testimony sinks. Sinks stinks. What? Miss May, I'm willing to bet that. You saw nothing. Did you really see the defendant at all? Erp. Mr. Wright, what's the meaning of this? Yes, what is the meaning? Somebody tell me because I'm clueless. Wait, about this, I mean. Okay, if you had really witnessed my client, Maya Fey, you would have noticed her clothes before noticing her physique. <gasps> oh shit, Phoenix one step ahead of us. No one wears clothes like this on a daily basis, except her. And I'm no expert on fashion, but her hairdo is far looks far from normal to me. Looks like a top hat. However, the witness's testimony mentions neither of these things. The testimony is bogus. But, but... Still, we don't know if she was dressed that way the night of the murder. She was, your honor. I was there. I saw her. And so did Detective Gumshoe. What do you say to that, Miss May? Rawr. What are you trying to say, you mean lawyer? I saw what I saw. I just didn't think all the trifling little details were necessary, darling. Miss May, the court would like to remind you to please omit nothing in your testimony. I'm sorry, Your Honor. I'll be a good girl. I promise. Wink. Your testimony again, if you would. Damn, I almost had- Wait, is, is the real murderer always a part of the- I'm not gonna look, I'm just thinking out loud. Is the real murderer always a part of the of the trial? Because, I mean, it's the second one, so... Hmm. Like, I didn't think it was her. Damn, I almost had her. If I, if I had pressed on the, um... 
at the end with with like she wasn't hit she was hit with the with the statue without it progressed it too i did see everything i did the victim the woman dodged the first attack and ran off to the right then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her and she hit her with that weapon i saw it i did all right now it's now she's including the weapon that that clock um the kind of statuey clock the thinker i think how do you know that well, does the accuracy of my report not startle you? Tee hee. I question it actually. How did you know that? I see. I only wish you had been so detailed from the beginning. Please begin the cross examination. I did see everything I did. Press! So, you saw me then too? Of course. I'd remember that spiky hair. Anywhere, Spiky. The witness will refrain from personal attacks on the defense attorney. Aw, oh, was I a bad girl? I'm sorry. Very well, continue. The victim, the woman, dodged the first attack and ran off to the right. Is that right as in your right as you look from the hotel? Um, which hand do I hold my chopsticks in? Left is what you hold. Oh. Right. It was my right hand. Right? Satisfied, Mr. Right. Please continue. Then the girl in the hippie clothes ran after her. How convenient for you to remember her hippie clothes. That's what you, I mean, that's what she was wearing. Oh, and her hair was all done up like a bun. Sigh. What happened then? And she hit her with that weapon. I saw it. I did. Where did this weapon come from? She picked it up from the desk. I see. What sort of weapon was it? That, that clock. How do you know it's a clock? Seriously. A clock? Didn't this come up in another testimony recently? Well, don't look so sour, Mr. Lawyer. You can't win them all. No, but I have a feeling I'm onto something now. That that clock, um, kind of statue clock, the thinker, I think? Okay, so let's present it to her. How, how do you know that? Miss May, what you said just now was quite revealing. Oh, the music! Revealing? Ooh, you'd like that. <clears throat> you'd like that, wouldn't you, naughty Mr. Lawyer? <laughs> you just said that the statue of the thinker was a clock, but there's no way of knowing that just by looking at it. Er? Another person in, in much the same position as you recently called this a clock too, and he was found guilty of murder. Order, order. Did she wiretap the court? Is she like some court bunny? Miss May, can you explain how you knew that how you know this was a clock? Oh, er The witness saw the murder with her own eyes. That's all that's important here. The defense is trying to confuse the issue with trivial concerns. Yes, yes, of course. You will withdraw your question, Mr. Wright. Did we just object? The judge? But questions are all I have, Your Honor, and as you may recall, I've caught murderers with these questions before. Well, only once. Objection sustained. You may continue the question with the witness. So, continue the question the witness. Phew, that was a close one. If you stopped me there, the trial would be over. Huh? What? So what happens now? What happens now is you answer my question. How did you know it was a clock? What? The, that's... Because I heard it. Yes, I heard it say the time. So, you've been to the law office at Fay and, uh, Fay and Co. N -n -n no Hey, I didn't say that. Why would I go there? I heard it from my hotel room. Hee <laughs> hee. The law office at Fay and Co, where the murder took place, is very close to the hotel. 
She could easily have hurt the clock. What? Hmm, well, Mr. Wright, are you satisfied? No. No, Your Honor. I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have rung. What? Okay, I feel like she couldn't have heard it is the right answer because that's the obvious one. But the fact that they think it's a possibility makes me think this might crash and burn. Like, but how, like how, what? Okay, I'm going for it. You were at the hotel. There's no way you could have heard a clock go off in the building next door. You have proof that she could not. Uh, <laughs> amateurs, amateurs. Listen to me, Mr. Wright, I'm an art lawyer. In the courtroom, proof is everything. Without it, you have nothing. You are nothing. Facts and arguments are my paintbrushes. Then I would like to, I would like to propose a test to see if she really could have heard. The prosecution denies your request. What, what? On what grounds? This is a trivial matter with no direct bearing on the case at hand. Indeed, objection sustained. Damn, time to switch directions, quick. Pivot, ready to proceed, Mr. Wright? How, how, what? No, your honor, I can't give up now. I'm not satisfied because she couldn't have heard it. It couldn't have rung. All right, really? Wow. Your honor, members of the court. It is an o'clock, it is inconceivable <laughs> that the clock in question rang. It's empty, it's broken, the batteries are dead. All right, the, clock, the clockwork part is broken. She took the pieces out, right? Is that is that empty or broken? Where's the phone record? The clock isn't talking right now, huh? It's not working, that's lame. I had to take the clock work out, sorry, I put some papers inside it instead. Okay, does that mean it's it's empty or broken? Fuck. T took it out, put papers instead, and the papers- Oh shit, I wanted- For some reason I thought I could select it and then hit it because it was the cursor was already on the other one. Alright, well we're gonna find out. I think it's broken. That clock's busted. You think? Fuck. Just look at it. Your Honor, please examine the clock. Hmm. Oh. See anything interesting, Your Honor? Well, I'm not sure I would call this broken, but I doubt it could ring. This clock is missing its clockwork. Oh, it worked. Okay, cool. It's quite empty. Mr. Wright. Would you care to explain the court the meaning of this? It's as you can see. The clock was empty. It couldn't have rung. Therefore... Th oh, wrong. Therefore, this witness is a big, fat liar. How dare you call me fat. <laughs> Well, Miss May. Tisk tisk. Quite a show you've put on for us, Mr. Wright, but unfortunately, ding dong, you're wrong. He knew the clock was empty. Somehow he knew. I'm afraid you've forgotten one thing, however. Indeed, the clock is empty, as you say, it can't ring. However, we must ask, when was the clockwork removed? If it was after the witness heard the clock, then there is no contradiction. Hmm, that's true. That is a possibility. The clock might have been emptied after she heard it. And that is exactly what happened, Your Honor. Well, Mr. Wright, can you prove when the clockwork was removed? Yes. Ho ho, impossible, of course. I have proof. What? Wasn't it you who told me the proof is everything? Well, I was listening. And now I'll show you the proof you like so much. So, I'm headcanning in this that Phoenix is Waffles and Chatterworth is, is Yusuke. And this is like some roleplay that they like to do before, um, things. And you can't convince me otherwise. The evidence that proves when the clockwork was removed is... Uh, can I just... Do I have to check and then do it? Or just... Add it. Take a look at this! Hmm, that's a very cute cell phone. Oh, ho, oh, you have a girly phone. Well, wait. Wait, this is my phone. Listen, this is the defendant's cell phone and it contains a recording. 
a recording of a conversation she had with the victim on the day of the murder. Order, order. The defendant's cell phone? This wasn't brought to my attention. Gumshoe! Perhaps Detective Gumshoe overlooked it. Grumble. The good detective better remember he's up for evaluation soon. Salary cutting noises! I gotta say, I'm starting to feel bad for the big fella. Let's hear the conversation. Beep. So you just want me to hold on to the thinker for you then? If you could. Ah, I should probably tell you the clock isn't talking right now. Huh? It's not working? That's lame. I have to take the clockwork out. Sorry. September 5, 9.27am. <gasps> Commotion! Your honor. I think this makes it clear the clockwork was already gone by the time this was recorded. Which was well before the witness even arrived at her hotel. Well, Miss May, would you care to explain this to the court? Just how did you know that weapon was a clock? I have clock pox. I can always tell when something is and isn't a clock. And the judge is like, hmm, yes, yes, yeah, hmm, good point. Mr. Wright, how do you counter? Well, well, isn't it uh, obvious? I saw that clock before. Um, what store was that again? I, I go to so many. Oops, I forgot. Wink. So the witness had seen it before. That would make sense. Does the defense have any objections, Mr. <laughs> the witness claims she had seen it before, but this directly contradicts a piece of evidence already submitted to this court. Well then, let's see it. Please produce this evidence that will prove the witness had not seen the clock before. All right, I will produce it. Here we go. All right, so where's the fact that, um, that, what the fuck made it? Made by Larry Butts, okay. It's simple. This clock was never in any store, ever. Wh what? A friend of mine made that clock. Only two exist in the world. And the one that isn't here is in the police custody. I I impossible. Everything is sold in stores. Even magic. Miss May, I think it's high time you went shopping for a better excuse. Oh! Oh, snap. Good line. Oh, excuse is not on sale today. Oh, the follow-up! Damn. Damn. Oh, shit. Alright, here we go. What's it to you, porcupine head? That stupid clock doesn't matter, okay? She did it, and she should die for it. Die. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. This is a court of law. The witness will remain calm. Her. Her. <laughs> oh. Oh. Oh, oh, ho, ho. This is silly me, grunt. Did I, um, like, lose it? I guess I did. Tee hee, wink. S scary. Miss May, let me ask. Tell me, how did you know the weapon was a clock? <laughs> <laughs> from from Himiko to Tenko. Hmm, oh dear. Does the defense have an opinion on this behavior? Okay, this is it. Yes, your honor. Allow me to explain how I see the truth of the matter. Miss April May, you knew the weapon was a clock because... You had heard about it. You held it. No, this is familiar territory. I'll just use the same approach as with Larry. Miss May held that very clock in her hands. Mr. Wright, when was this? When she used it to strike the victim. When else? Order, order. Mr. Wright, what is the meaning of this? April May, you killed Mia Fey, you say. I don't, I don't think so, Phoenix, but okay. I just didn't think you heard it was an option. All right. And when you struck, the force of the impact made the thinker. No, it was empty before that. No. No. That's when you heard it. Backtrack. No. Edgeworth. Tisk tisk. You truly are a work of art, Mr. Phoenix Wright. 
What's that supposed to mean? It was you who just proved the thinker was empty. Oh, Urk, of course, it wouldn't ring. Yeah, but, like, I thought, like, if she killed him, if she killed her, that, like, she took the papers out afterwards and might have saw that it was a clock then. Not that, uh, fuck it, whatever, it's fine. What's more, the witness had a rock-solid alibi. Miss May, perhaps you could explain to the poor, misguided Mr. Wright that you were in the hotel at the time of the murder. She, she can't prove it. She did it. It would... It would be my pleasure. No way. Yes way, Mr. Lawyer. Tee hee, didn't the murder take place at nine at night? Gee, that's the exact time I ordered some room service from the hotel bellboy. Incidentally, the bellboy corroborates the witness's story. Ergo, she was not at the crime scene, rock solid. Mr. Wright, you just made a serious accusation against a perfectly innocent woman. Oh shit. So sorry, Your Honor. That didn't go so well. Okay, do we lose some 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 health now or whatever that was up there, or was that not health? But if that's the case, then how did she know the thinker was a clock? Wait, Your Honor, I figured it out. There is one other way that Miss April May could have known it was a clock. One way alone, and I have proof. Well, proof you say? Then the court will examine your proof, Mr. Wright. How did the witness know the thinker was a clock? Gotta be that. Yeah, it's gotta be that. Have a look at this. Uh, oh, that? Eh <laughs> I found this in Miss May's room. Mr. Wright, please explain to the court what this is. Miss April May? You were tapping the victim. Miss Mia Faye's phone, were you not? Oh, oh. Your Honor, this is irrelevant. I'm not entirely sure that it is. Objection overruled. It troubles me that our witness was in possession of a wiretap. This is outrageous. Does the defense truly claim that the witness was tapping her phone? Absolutely. Even if that was the case, which it's not, you still have to prove one thing. Did the victim ever say that the weapon was a clock on the phone? Didn't we already show that? Can you prove that? I think not. Oh yeah? I think I can. It's simple. Oh, these guys are definitely gonna bang. What? Here's my proof. The proof that the victim said on the phone that the weapon was a clock is... Yeah, it's in here, isn't it? Didn't we already show that? Yeah. I present the defendant's cell phone. Yes, we've seen that. Listen once more to the conversation between the defendant and the victim. Mia, what's up? You haven't called in a while. Well, actually, there's something I want you to hold on for me. Again? What's it this time? It's a clock. It's made to look like the statue, the thinker, and it tells you the time. Miss April May, you used the wiretap to listen to this conversation. That's how you knew the thinker was a clock. Am I wrong? Why are you joining me? I... I... Your Honor, this is ridiculous. Your Honor, look at the witness's face! Does she seem amused to you? <laughs> the defense demands an answer. <laughs> witness, answer the question. Did you tap her phone? Miss May! Shut up, all of you. What gives you the right to talk to me like that? You, you lawyer! Oh man, she got us there. That's a good point. She got us there. It's no fair. All of you g ganging up on me like that. Oh, so I'm the bad girl. Is that it? Is that it? Uh, oh, uh. Himiko crying is, is terrifying. That did it. The court's seen the, the real Miss April May now. Now to deal the final blow. You did it, didn't you? Why the, wi why the wiretap? Miss May, why did you tap her phone? She had cute shoes, and I wanted to know where she got them from. 
answer the question. Do I have to? Isn't this a murder trial? Isn't tippity tapping er er irrelevant? Gosh, she's saying exactly what Chadworth wants her to say. Miss May, you were tapping the victim's phone. I hardly call that irrelevant. While this court does not condone the defense's tone of voice, he has a point. <laughs> well, Miss May, do you have an explanation for the court? At the time of the murder, I was in my hotel room getting room service. How could I have killed her? If you don't believe me, just ask the bellboy. Well, does the defense have anything to say? She didn't answer the question! Um, well, come on. Think of something. She didn't answer the Why? 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 Why did you fuck? Why are you wiretapping? Right. On with the cross-examination. What exactly do you have left to examine? I want her to answer the fucking question! Mr. Wright, Miss, Miss April May has admitted to the wiretap, yes. But that bears no relevance to the case at hand. Murder. There's no way you can prove any connection. Uh-oh. Think. This can't be the end, but I'm out of evidence. Then I believe the cross-examination is over. Mr. Chadworth, does the prosecution have any other witnesses to call? None, your honor. She's the last. What? But that means... Maya's guilty? Uh, did Maya do it? Wait, wait, your honor. Yes, Mr. Wright. The defense would like to call the bellboy after all. Tsk, tsk, tsk. As I thought, always one step behind me, Waffles. May I remind you, dear Mr. Wright, should you question the bellboy, and Miss April May's alibi proved... May's alibi proved to be solid. Shouldn't it be proofs? April May's alibi proves to be solid. Eh, that's fine. Then, by default, your client, Miss Maya, Maya Faye, will be pronounced guilty. Are you prepared to accept my condition? Woo! What? Chadworth, he's got me backed into a corner. But I don't see any other way to take the. Okay, sure, yeah. Yeah, alright, yeah. We If we call him and we don't get anywhere. She's guilty. Okay, I accept. Very well. The court calls the hotel bell bellboy to the stand. And this is the first game. It's just going to get worse and worse as it goes on. I believe we're ready for the... I mean, better and better. I believe we're ready for the witness to testify. He certainly does look like a bellboy. Yeah. <laughs> Yes, sir. I received your summons in the middle of work, sir. I'm happy to be of service. That tea set looks rather heavy, so without further ado, the witness may begin his testimony. Not put it down. Okay, cool. Very good, sir. Miss May's room service. I am the head bellboy at the, at the fine Gatewater Hotel, in business for four generations. I believe I received a call after eight in the evening from our guest, Miss May. She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. I brought to her at precisely the requested time, of course. And then I stayed for 20 to 30 minutes, and I delivered the iced coffee to our guest, Miss May, herself. I see. The defense may begin its cross-examination. We're right. I'm ready. I hope. This is it. If I can't prove Miss May was involved with the murder now, my bet with Chadworth means that Maya goes down in prison. Maya will be finished. Let's press it all. I am the head bellboy at the Fine Gatewater Hotel in the business of four generations. No, that's wrong! What exactly is it you do at the hotel? Why, anything required of me, sir? Anything? I check in guests, I check out guests, I clean rooms, I make beds, I even deliver room service, sir. I check Miss May impersonally. Are you always so, so prim? Mr. Wright, you will refrain from asking frivolous questions. I believe I received a call after 8 in the evening from our guest, Miss May. How long after 8? Are you sure it was Miss May on the phone? Absolutely, sir. Her voice is unmistakable. H how can you be so certain? I checked Miss May impersonally, sir. Not only did I see her in all her stunning radiance, but I also heard her voice. And then I saw that <laughs> Them and I... Ahem. Ahem. The point being, I remembered her quite well, sir. Yes, what then? She asked for an iced coffee to be brought to her at nine on the dot, sir. Nine on the dot, you say? 
To shreds, you say? Yes, I confirmed that detail several times. She was watching a program on the TV and wished to drink after she finished, sir. Nine, the time of the murder. I brought to her the precisely the requested time, of course. Precisely nine, then? Precisely, exactly, and most definitely, sir. 9 p.m. How can you be so sure? Miss May was quite insistent that it be brought done. Oh, bellboy? Tee hee. I'd like iced coffee at exactly nine. Something like that, sir. Therefore, I knocked on her door at the crack of nine, sir. Why would she be so particular about the time? And I delivered the iced coffee our guest Miss May herself. Alright, press again. You were sure it was Miss April May herself. Uh, absolutely, sir. I saw them with my own eyes. Absolutely? Yes, sir. As in, so very absolutely, sir. It's an endearing mannerism of mine. How come you're so certain? So very certain. Well, when I brought the room service, sir, she, uh, she the guest, sir, favored me with a, uh, an embarrass... An em embrasser? Embrasser, sir. Embrasser? Kiss. Okay. Embrasser. Is that French for embrace? It's French for kiss, sir. But not a French kiss, sir. More of a peck on the cheek. Well, why would she have done that? Because I'm hot, sir. I believe perhaps she was momentarily swayed by my prim demeanor, sir. It was a moment I shall never ever forget, sir. Sounds pretty fishy to me. I think our Miss May was up to something and wanted the bellboy to remember her. Do, do, do. It's no good. There's nothing there. Is, is that it? Tisk tisk. Finally, you understand. This bellboy has absolutely no reason to lie. Now, if you have any decency, you will end this rather tedious cross-examination here. Hmm. It was a bit tedious. The witness may leave the stand. I can't let this happen, can I? Protest. Wait. Please wait. Yes? Does the defense have something to add? One last question. Let me ask one last question. Your Honor, I must object. This charade of justice has gone on long enough. Now, now, Mr. Chadworth. All right, Mr. Wright, I'll give you one more question, that's all. Okay, this is really it now. This is my last chance. What do I ask him about? Check-in, room service, bed, ma bed making? Okay, I don't know. All right, what, what are we doing? I, I feel like the time is important. Die from below blown object may have lived for a few minutes after being hit. No one will believe it. Uh, what time did did Maya get at the um get there? She said she arrived just before nine, right? So everything happened before nine o'clock. We haven't used this yet. Is there any more? Chat is telling me to save. How do I save? All right, I'll save it. Death from blow from blow. Object may have for minutes before getting hit. I remember Maya saying that she showed up a little bit before nine. So all that could have happened before nine. What time did we get there? I would, I would, I think I know what I want to say. I just don't know how to say it. Okay, so check in. I don't think it's. I don't think it's check in. Room service. Ask, room service. Is just repeating what we said last last time. Bed making. Like when did you come and make the bed? What's bed making? Like what? Check in. Check in for the, like the wiretap or something maybe. Let's go and check in and see where that goes. I don't know. I don't know how to how to how to, to get where I'm uh where I need to be. Tell tell me about check in. Tell me about when you checked in, Miss May. Oh, all right. Very well, sir. My first thought was that she was a beautiful, beautiful person. She's just my type of girl, so it was a disappointment, really. I see. Huh? Excuse me. What exactly was a disappointment? Well, I am not without charm, sir. But even I'd have a little chance with her lover there. What did he say? What did- 
Ah, uh, or rather quite... Bellboy, tell us the truth now. Did Miss May check in with another person? I object. That was objectionable. Objection overruled. The witness will answer the question. Er... Yes, yeah, see? Why did you not mention this in your testimony? Well, well sir, you are... You didn't ask. <laughs> Great game. Nice try. That's the sort of thing you're normally supposed to mention. Ah, yes, quite, indeed. It was the, uh, good barrister there. Mr. Chadworth, who... Is fucking hurt? No, he asked me not to mention it. If I wasn't specifically asked, sir. Oof. Y you, you fool. I've done it. I've won. Okay, was... Was that was I just supposed to guess there or something or did I did I make a bad choice that got me to that moment and I had to guess was that like my backup or whatever or like like what 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 was that hmm okay that was kind of that was kind of weird all right I'm guessing this is less about solving the mystery really and more about like paying attention making some guy some some choices here and there but it's mostly you're just along for the ride at least it is now like it's kind of wacky and off the wall it's it's fine it's more about a, like an over uh, like an opening story that's fine just um i just want to know w what what kind i'm gonna go for let's see i've done it i've won miss april may checked into a twin room with a man correct Yes, sir. Then, when you brought them room service, you didn't see that man in the room? That's right, sir. Hmm. Your Honor, we have just learned of another person involved who may have been the murderer. In light of this new fact, I hold that it's impossible to judge the defendant. Wouldn't you agree, Mr. Mr. Chadworth? And who, Mr. Wright? Who is this other person? Simple, it was... Leon, Miss April May, the man with Miss May, the bellboy, the man with Miss May, right? Okay, wait, can I go back and see what they said? I, I'm going to sit down. Fuck it. The man who checked in with Miss May. Oof. Your honor. As has been previously revealed, Miss April May was tapping the victim's phone. Yet Miss May herself has an alibi at the time of the murder. However, that does not clear the man that was with her. The bellboy saw no one else in the room at the time of the murder. My, my. My, my. What a convenient little setup. But it's too late. Too late? I suppose you liked it if it was too late, wouldn't you? We made an agreement that if you didn't... <laughs> that if it wasn't the bellboy, she would go to prison. So it doesn't matter. You're screwed, Phoenix. I win. After all, it was you who hid the presence of the other man from this court. Oof. For a third time. Upstart. Amateur. These accusations are... ludicrous. Enough. The court acknowledges the defense's argument. I expect the prosecution and defense to look into this matter fully. Am I understood? Yes, Gasp. Yes, Your Honor. That is all for today. That is all today for the trial of Maya, Maya Fey. Court is adjourned. Oh shit, day two? Oh snap. September 7, 224 p.m. District Court, Defendant Lobby, number one. Mr. Wright, you are amazing in there. Really? I think I might be your newest fan. Oh, I was just doing my job, you know. <laughs> then again, that other attorney was pretty cool, too. Huh? Total Chad, that face of his with his eyes wide and trembling lips. It sent shivers up my spine. Hmm. <laughs> If you say so. So, what happens with me? Do I get to go home now? Um, well... No, I don't think so. Not yet. Oh, I see. But I got a great lead in today's trial. A lead? That man with Miss May. He's the key. Oh, I get it. What happened to Miss May after that, anyway? I heard they arrested her. I guess she's learning her charms won't work everywhere. She's probably at the detention center now. I may have to go down there later. Anyway, this case is far from closed. Yes, sir. I'm going to find out more about this man. Do you think he was the one who... Maybe so. Sis. Don't worry. I'll find it by tomorrow. I promise. I'm counting on you. 
ba ba bum ba bum ba dum bum bum ba ba bum ba dum ba dum ba I asked for a full record of April May's testimony. I thought it might come in handy during the trial tomorrow, but now that I have it, I'm not so sure. Most of her testimony was all lies. In fact, there's only one part that hasn't been stricken from the record. May testimony added to the court record. The victim dodged an attack and ran to the right, but she was caught and struck. So I'm guessing it's that she couldn't have ran to the right because then she would have knocked over the lamp. I don't know how much good this will do me, do me at all now. Anyway, time to hit the pavement and do some investigating. And then Chadwick's gonna be like, well, the lamp could have been knocked over sooner and Phoenix would be like, <gasps> Maya doesn't belong in that detention center and it's up to me to set her free. To be continued. Yeah, let's save. Why did you guys want me to save so much at that point? September 7, 311, Detention Center, Visitor's Room. Okay, so this seems like a pretty good place to stop, and we're supposed to be streaming for three to four hours. Uh, can can we can we finish this chapter, or whatever it is, in an hour? Or no? No? No, no way? Could we get back to the, to the next part of the trial in an hour? Yeah, we could get back to the trial. Okay, let's let's do that then. We'll stop at the beginning of the next part of the trial then. You should have given Gumshoe a hard Canadian accent. I can't really do a hard Canadian accent all that well for, for everything. Uh, thank you, GB user Axenrum. That's a mouthful for the new sub. Welcome. Thank you, GMG420. Nice for the new sub as well. Dodd CSGO for the new sub. Thank you. Ala Ale Larzum, Ale Larzum. Sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. Thank you for the new sub as well. Uh, Utem, U Utem T six, Utem six for the eight month resub. Looking forward to the AA streams. Hope you enjoy them. I'm enjoying this so far. Yeah, I'm having a good time. This is fun. I'm just trying to trying to feel out what kind of game it is. You know. Like uh, I don't want to have the same mistake with uh, with Danganronpa where I thought it was like this 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 thing where you're supposed to make logical deductions and really pay attention to the murder mystery, um, and then it turns out that you know uh, twelve trials later that they're like no, so uh, I just want to make sure that I have a, a good good feel of the game, you know, and uh, have that, my expectations right. Uh, thank you, Ace Isolated Spaceman, for the for the bits. After that third oof, you feel a growing bond with Chadworth. You reach level two of Chadness Archon. <laughs> uh thank you color plant for the 12 and 3 sub welcome to the one year club color plant thank you so much and last is multi-master world uh just some bits to make the stream longer all right let's go until we get back to the stream well hello i didn't expect anyone to visit me in such a dank place as this it's really quite moving not you stinking lawyer. I hope you die. Have you come to laugh? Yes, laugh at the fallen Miss May. No, not really. There's something I wanted to ask. Unfortunately, there is nothing I want to be asked. Haven't you done enough questioning, you spiky head? Here we go again. Please, you're scaring the security guard. to terrified. So, what is it you wish to ask of me, ask of me then, hmm? For starters, how did you get to be so totally whacked? Hey, security guard. This guard monitors the, visit the visitor's room. He hasn't moved an inch. A real pro, this guy. Or maybe he just doesn't get to see a lot of women like Miss May in here. Oh, he's rigid. Smile for the camera. Can't wait to investigate this every single time that we're here. That man. About the man who stayed with you in your hotel room. Can you tell me about him? Where is he? Come on. No way, Jose. Hmm. Maybe if I had something to get her to talk. A wiretap. Why did you place a wiretap on Mia's phone? Aw, when you say it like that, it sounds so cold, so criminal. Remember when we, we had an illegal wiretap, you know, going on, and the judge was like, yeah, we don't need to know why. Remember that? That was good. And no one even questioned it. That was that was a fun moment. 
Um, tapping a people's phone. Tapping people's phone is a crime, Miss May. Apparently not, Phoenix. Oh, and I suppose you learned that in lawyer school, hmm? Creep. This woman is impossible to talk to. Your attitude. Say, why are you so angry? I mean, you don't look like a bad person. Oh, that does it. Bottom feeding, scum sucking lawyer. The bottom? I can't, <laughs> I can't tell. Does she have a thing against lawyers or just against me? All right, so I have to show her something to make her talk? Uh, I'm a lawyer. Hey, guess what? Actually, I um, really hate your guts. So get lost because, well, I'm not cooperating. Thanks, I noticed. All right, how about her uh, testimony? Hey, guess what? Actually, I, okay, all right, cool. How about this? Guess what, hate your gut. All right, this is the one for sure. Nope, no, all right. No, what about this one? No, okay, how about, how about this one? Nope, fuck. All right, how, how about, how about the floor plan? Nope. All right, this time we're gonna land on the sun station for sure. Guess what? All right. All right. Getting some Star Tropics vibes from these conversations. All right. September 7th, Gatewater Hotel, room 303. Ah, welcome, sir. Quite the performance today, if I dare say so myself. Oh, um, thanks. Sorry for putting you on the spot like that. No, no, not at all, sir. Your efforts today could only help the Gatewater's rep, as they say. Huh? Rep? Yes, our reputation will swell as the hotel where the murderer used a wiretap. We can charge a premium for the room, of course. It would be great for business, sir. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Miss May hasn't been charged with murder. I, too, will become famous. The bellboy who brought the murderer iced coffee. Whether I feel like we're both stuck in the same bad dream. So, you are our honored guest. Please let me know if there's anything I can, I can bring you. I haven't had iced coffee yet. I wonder if I should try iced coffee. Would I like it? Hmm. Into coffee now. Oh, we can talk to you. Hey, Miss May. About Miss May. Oh, her, sir. Not to boast, but I knew the moment I saw her. She'd do it, I said. Do what? I'm starting to think the most suspicious person here is this guy. The man with May. I want to ask you about the man who is with Miss May. Ah, yes. He struck me as a real lady killer, if you'll pardon the expression. I knew it from the moment I saw him, sir. He and I are this of the same ilk. We both carry the scent of danger. There we are in total agreement, Mr. Psycho Bellboy. Man, I like Pleasant Bellboy. If you had a photo of the man, I'm quite sure I could identify him. A photo? Hmm. Could you tell me about this hotel? Absolutely, and on that subject, I have an excellent idea, sir. Currently, this hotel is known as the Gatewater. I propose that we add a subtitle. A subtitle? The Gatewater Hotel. Murder Manor. Well, what do you think? Um, sounds great. Whatever floats your tea set. <laughs> Hey, here's a photograph. Look at this photograph. All right, what's his his thing? I'm sorry. All I could think about during the trial was the hotel. I wasn't paying much attention to the evidence. All right, I'm a lawyer. I'm sorry. Oh, okay. All right. Huh? There's still a screwdriver stuck in that drawer. Ah, please leave that as it is, sir. That's the drawer of terror, hiding place of the murderer's wiretap. It's set to become one of the most popular attractions here. This guy's serious, I don't believe it. Yeah, and the first person who stays here is gonna steal the fucking screwdriver. A vase, as expected. I'm not good with flower names, except maybe tulips and sunflowers. Ah, I still seen painting. Okay, we did this already. A bottle and two glasses rest on the table. Why isn't he cleaning these up by now? Ah, I beg your pardon, sir, but if you could please refrain from touching those, it's part of the decor. I call it the last drink before murder. Will be famous, the talk of the hotel industry. Ah, yes, we plan to install a telescope in that window, of course. Just five dollars will earn you the three minutes of, of you to a kill. J just kidding, sir. Oh, ho, 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 ho. By that look in his eyes, I'd say he was more than serious. Simple bed. It's been recently made. Nothing eye-catching here. Do, 
Two glasses with a hint for there being two people. Yeah, but we didn't know that's what we were trying to propose, right? I guess if you could make the connection, all right, at check-in, there would be two people, but not always. Like you can check in a hotel as just one person and then bring the other person in later if they were gonna hide it. It's just that that wasn't following the evidence. That was just like connecting something back from a long time ago. It, it makes sense. It's, it's not bad. I'm just saying like at that point in time, it felt like to me that I was supposed to make a connection between the time that she was so specifically saying nine, right? And and there was no way to do that. So I was like, hmm, how 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 the fuck how the fuck do I I do that, you know? But Chad is saying that all the options were correct, so I guess it doesn't matter. Like I don't mind it. Like I'm not mad. It's just I'm, I'm getting the impression that you're supposed to be a, a, a more like um, laid back, let's say, and along for the ride when it comes to this one. Maybe you should have been about, about Dangarampa too, and I was too hard on Dangarampa for the, for that. But I don't know. I guess we'll see. Let's go see Grossberg. So number seven, the Grossberg Law Offices. Huh? Looks like Grossberg is out today again. Maybe he's avoiding me for some reason. Huh. Hmm. Feels like something's missing here. Huh. Oh, the plant! An expensive potted plant. No idea what kind of plant it is, but probably the most expensive one available. Alright. Is there anything new? No. Wait a second. Wasn't there a giant painting hanging on that wall? Yeah. Yeah, it was a painting of... Marvin Grossberg. Fisherman? Wait, well, it wasn't Sunflowers. Was it of him? It wasn't of him, wasn't it? Like, him as younger? I can't remember if it was Fisherman. Oh, was it Fisherman? I guess it must have been Fisherman. Like, I don't think it was him as, as younger. Wasn't it? Wasn't it, a, it wasn't a very memorable painting, anyhow. How's it going, Lily? Okay. I'm almost done. Okay. You're enjoying it? No, it sucks. Really? I have been watching. No, it's good. I like it. to ask that when I come in, you know, just in case it's like Alicia's this whole... No, that's okay. It's such an innocent question. Are you enjoying <laughs> it? And then it's like, oh shit. Expensive looking mahogany bookshelves for really expensive looking books. Hmm, funny. They don't seem like they're in red. Okay. What's this? Old photos. There are two lying here. Something's been written in pencil on the backs. DL6 Institute Exhibit A. DL6 Institute Exhibit B. Let's take a look at these. Exhibit A. I'm sure I've seen this person somewhere before. So that's their mother. Perhaps they'll borrow this photo. I'm sure no one will miss just one little photo. And it might be a valuable clue. I'll take it for now. On the back, exhibit A written in pencil. Oh god, a photo lies on this desk. Maybe I should switch it with the one I took. Ooh, what do you mean? Take them both. I think I'll swap them. Photograph added to the court record. Take them both. What are you doing? Let's take a pencil too. I saw a mahogany desk. Okay, so that's the guy that we have to go back and say, hey, look at that. Hey, look at this. Look at this weird guy. Hey, is this is this is this the killer? Look at take a look at this photo. That's him, detective. Um, I'm the lawyer. Oh, I know that. I just wanted to say detective once. You know how it is. No, no, I don't. Without a doubt, that is the man who checked in with Miss April May. How about I write an affidavit swearing that that's him? An affidavit? This guy is way too excited about this. Have him write it down. Nah, I'm good. Have him write it. Well, sure. Why not? Yes. I've always wanted to write an affidavit, sir. From henceforth, I will be known as the bellboy who swore the affidavit. Just hurry up and write it. Describes the man who stayed with Miss May at the hotel on the night of the murder. Not even Miss May can play dumb to this. Okay, are we not are we not asking why the fuck that was in the office? All right, uh, can I go back and fix it and show the other picture to 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 Maya? <sighs> Did Joe not see the murder in the beginning? I've completely forgotten about that. I don't remember if there was someone in that scene or not. I think there was, but I don't remember what he looked like.
Oh, this is new. I'm sorry. That does it. When this case is done, I'm shaving my head. Hey, this is your boyfriend. Have a look at this. Look, I said several times I'm not telling you. Where did you... Aha, a reaction. This is him, isn't it? What? Who? When? Why? It is him. This is the man who stayed in your hotel room the night of the murder. You have matching clothes. No, no, that's not right. Bubblegum couple. Nice try, Miss Cooperative. Do you, do you have proof that was him? Hmm? Yeah, proof. Show me proof. I'm so close. I do, I do have proof. Here, here, I have proof. Could you have a look at this? What's that? The bellboy's affidavit. It tells us everything he saw, such as the man you checked in with, who was most definitely this guy. Now I'm getting somewhere. Push her hard. This is it. All or nothing. Time to do a little bluff. No use playing dumb, if indeed that's an act. If you don't talk, I'm taking this info to the press. What? Even though he should have been witness to the murder, your little friend was missing. I'm sure the press would have a field day with his, with his reputation. Oh, fine. I'll talk. You, you win, lawyer. Yes, man, that felt good. It's great to be alive. The sky is blue, but I'm not. Why are you pumping your fists in the air? Cough. Now, tell me about the man you were with. That man, he's my boss. Red, white. Red White, the president of the information gathering conglomerate Blue Corp. Red White, information gathering? Well, I suppose you could call it a detective agency. Hmm. So this is the man that was with you the night of the murder. I'm... I'm scared to talk. I don't want to end up like her. It's okay. I'll just ask Mr. White himself. Can you tell me where Blue Corp is located? No. Mr. Red White, at last. Finally, a lead on this guy. If April May couldn't have done it, that leaves him. Time to take action. Bellboy's affidavit, discard it. <laughs> hey, can we cock talk to Maya? Where the heck is that loafer? I am. Oh, the photo's gone! Ah, that old familiar clearing of the throat. Aha, you again. Um, hello, Mr. Grossberg. Well, well. You are quite the thing, my boy. Excuse me? The trial! The trial! The maps are wrong. He was there. Reminded me of myself when I was a youth. I guess something got passed down through, through Maya, maybe? It, it brings back memories, it does. Ah, the days of my youth. Like the scent of fresh lemon, you see. I apologize. I... It was all a bit too much for me, my boy. Seeing you today, I... Well, I... I appreciate the reminiscing, but I'd much rather you gave me some information. Alright. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial. Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. I couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just... Mia's sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. If you were that worried about it, why didn't you offer to defend her? Your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse to request her defense? I think I have a right to know. A right? A right, Mr. Right? No, no, I'm sorry, it's just... I needed. I need more time to think about it, my boy. He does seem troubled about something. Maybe I can find something that will inspire him to talk. That painting. The other day, I'm sure there was a big, pretentious-looking painting on the wall there that we specifically spoke about, and you said it was worth millions. Pretentious-looking? Well, you know the one I mean. Anyway, where did it go? Ah, yes. Well, I got rid of it. Quite tired of the thing, really. I uh, sold it. You see? Yes, that's right. Sold it. 
I'm not sure I buy that. Wasn't that painting rather important to you, sir? Did something happen? I don't see how it's any of your business. Please, speak no more of that accursed painting. I didn't... I... Mumble, mumble. Alright. I'm a lawyer. I beg your pardon, but I'm not at liberty to speak on the matter. Alright. How did you have this photo on your fucking desk? Excuse me, I was wondering about this photograph. Where did you, where'd you get that? Give it back at once! I'm sorry to have taken it without your knowledge, but I have to know. Who is this man? He was most likely in April May's room in the, the night of the murder. What's that you say? Uh, are, are you quite sure? My boy! What? <laughs> so I said that's so fucking bad. So flustered, I wonder. Uh, I beg your pardon, but I must ask you to leave. I need to be alone. Alright, I'm taking the photograph. He's fallen silent in a stone. A rather large stone. I guess I should return that photo. Photograph returned to Mr. Grossberg. Alright, great. Well, I hope the bellboy doesn't end up deed. Because that would be bad. He's the only one that's seen it. Alright, Blue Corp. Alright, anything to do with Gumshoe? Or is he not even here? September 7th, Faye and Co. Law Offices. Looks like Forensics is taking the day off today. Detective Gumshoe is nowhere in sight. The police really gave the place a working over. I doubt there are any valuable clues left. Suppose it can't hurt to take a look around, though. Old movie poster. Yeah, we did that already. Okay. Oh, wait. The sky is blue and so am I. There's that hotel right across the way. Music reply plant. What was new? You could you can cram more legal books if you wanted to. All the cases the chief worked are filed here. Hmm. Are some of these files missing? Nah, I'm imagining things. Oh. Blue Corp. Oh, that painting looks familiar, but I can't place it. Hmm. What's with the surreal decor? Welcome, please. Furnish me with the title of your personage. What the? White, your name. What's your name? I was just inquirably, inquirably asking the title that you go by. All right, cool. Uh, right, Phoenix Wright. I'm a lawyer. What was it again? Cogniferous? Mr. Wright, is it? Right, I see. Splendiferous. Perhaps I have intimidated you with my giant-esque vocabulary. Oh, she said she liked the man with a, good, a big vocabulary. What is this guy's problem? I'm Red White, CEO of Blue Corp. You know, a corporate expansion official. My business dealings bring me to, into contact with the elite of the elite. So I'm afraid I am not used to conversing with the worldly challenge. <laughs> worldly challenge? What a fruitcake! Hmm, let me guess. You are an attorney fresh out of law school, are you not? That's the only explanation for why you would come to meet me like this. What does he mean by that? No matter. So, what business does a mighty lawyer have with a man such as myself? Yipes. This guy's arrogance meter is off the scale. Alright. ba 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 Haven't I seen this somewhere? Is this a replica? Ridiculosity? I have no interest in anything but originals. That right there is a bona fide original, worth five million for sure. Hmm. I'm guessing this is supposed to be a desk. My my, this is quite the thing. Man, Atlas shrugged. It is modeled on my body. See? Well, does its sleek roundature not inspire you? Totally. An impressive lineup of trophies. Judges special runner-up. Best Participation, Judges Cooperation Award, Special Good Try Prize. Hmm, the words Judges and Special kind of stand out. A statue of a man holding up the world. The Blue Corp sign certainly stands out enough. The model for the man is, of course, Mr. White. Truly a work of art, but probably too butacious for you to appreciate, correct? Bootylicious. I think it's a little too butacious for just about anyone to appreciate. Does this game predate Bootylicious? This is the top, top floor of this 20-story building. The view is quite presidential. 
Alright, I think we've looked at everything. Oh, shit! Sorry. I'm a lawyer. I'm terribly sorry, but that really doesn't seem to concern me at all. God damn it, man. Miss May. Miss May is an employee of Blue Corp, is she not? Correct. She was my secretary at... What a shock it was to hear what she has done. What she has done. You mean the wiretap? Indeed. She is paid to answer phones. Tapping them is not in her job description. She does gather information for us as part of her duties, but I assure you, we do not condone illegal methods. It is ineffable that she would do this. Sounds like he's trying to turn Miss May into a scapegoat. On the night of the murder, were you in April May's hotel room? Who can say? I seldom pay attention to mundane details such as time and place. <laughs> My motto is, don't worry, be happy. Still, Mr. Way, the hotel bellboy has stated on the record that he does remember you very clearly. No matter. The bellboy can say what he pleases. I still won't talk to you. If you want me to speak, put me on the witness stand, although I doubt you'd be capable of doing that. Hmm, he raises a good question, actually. Why didn't the prosecution call him as a witness? You should have seen the same thing as April May. Oh ho ho! The police, the courts... To me, they are mere toys, playthings for my amusement. Ah, uh, okay. Well, this guy seems legit and fine, nothing wrong with him. What kind of company is Blue Corp anyway? Ah, excellent question. We buy and sell various kinds of information. We are a company of the future. You might say we are the future. Sell information? In just 10 years, I've built this business up into the grand office you see now. Ah, in case you were wondering, Blue Corp was named after the color blue. I, Red White of Blue Corp, as founder and CEO, named it so. And why you ask? Because I like the color blue, of course. Fantabulistic, is it not? I feel like they're trying to say something with the red, white, and blue, but I'm just not getting it. There's something that's been bothering me. Yes, what might that be? The big fat painting on the wall over there. It's gorgeous, I've seen it before. Where did you get it? I've seen it before. You know, I've actually seen that painting before. Oh, just yesterday, actually. Your point being? My point is simple, or rather my question is simple. Why is that painting hanging on your wall? Mr. Wrong, was it? Right, it appears you do not fully grasp your, your position here. I ask again, who are you? Um, huh? I'm a lawyer. No, my feeble friend, a mere lawyer. Ooh, I'm a mere lawyer. Worth noting, zilch, zippo, nada. Just like that, sorry, ex wait, just like that sorry excuse of an attorney, Grody Burger. What, what? Uh, uh, oof. Uh, uh, it, he punched me. Well, Mr. Lawyer, what will you do, eh? Charge me with assault? Charge away, I welcome it. For it is you who will be found guilty. Oh no. Will I get expelled? What? Heed my exposition. The police, the courts, they all do my bidding. So you say. But I wonder, is that kind of control really possible? I don't expect you to understand. It is a world beyond your comp your compensation. <laughs> That's pretty good actually. Okay, so he has dirt on everyone and is blackmailing everybody? Is he blackmailing the judge too? You came here from Grody Burgers, I presume. Mr. Grossbergs, yes. Then you must ask him, why is why is it that this painting of his hangs here? Perhaps then he will tell you. Perhaps he will explain how a man can live life purely for personal profit. Go now, skedaddle. There is nothing more to discuss. Alright. Hey, have a look at this. Would you be kind enough to, to cease your inane chattering and vacate the premises? Let me put it in language you are sure to understand. Shut up and get out. I have nothing more to say. Alright. Man, that Ken doll is a dick, Grossberg. Huh? I don't think he's noticed me standing there. Maybe I should clear my throat? Ahem. Jumping Jehoshaphats! Oh, you! What's, what's wrong? You look so pensive. Like an old man at the end of his days. Hmm. I'm not senile yet. I was just thinking about this whole mess. Something's really bothering him. That much is clear. Okay, is he actually gonna have good dirt on you though, Grossberg? Or is it gonna be like, at 35, you wet the bed or some shit? You know, like, what the fuck? <sighs> Until he was 12 years old, he wet the bed. Okay. Talk. Today's trial. So you came to see the trial. 
Yes, yes I did. Something was bothering me all last night, you see. Couldn't get a wink of sleep. Really? What was that? Well, you see, it's just me a sister, that poor girl. My boy, I owe you my thanks, truly. I don't know what I would have done if things had gone poorly for the girl. Your refusal. I asked before, but why did you refuse to request her defense? I think I might have the right to know. All right, Mr. Wright? No, 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 I'm sorry. Okay, we did this already. He does seem troubled about something. I'm starting to have a feeling I know what it is. Mr. White. So, I paid Blue Corp a visit. Oh? Oh, I see. Mr. Grossberg, I have to admit, something has been bothering me. Oh, what is it? Well, out with it, my boy. You see, it's just... That big painting, the photo of Mr. White. Why wouldn't you defend my... I guess the big painting. Mr. Grossberg, sir. There was a giant painting hanging right there the other day. Was there not? The one you said you had no intention of parting with? Well, I saw it. Today. It was in the CEO's office of Blue Corp. Red White's office. So, you noticed. I suppose I should have guessed you would. <laughs> It is a large painting. Mr. Grossberg, I know you and Mr. White are connected somehow. C connected, you say? Yes, I know what it is. He's giving permission. He's blackmailing you. You're lovers. Fuck, I should have went with that one. Mr. White has something on you, doesn't he? Blackmail. I think that painting is fairly gaudy, fairly gaudy proof. Very well. This may be the chance I've been waiting for. Maybe it's time to get this off my chest so I can finally rest easy again. After all, you were Mia's understudy. Perhaps it was fate. What's he talking about? Red White is a man who makes his living through intimidation. Blue Corp is a company that excels in finding people's weaknesses, I'm afraid. I've been paying them for 15 years now. But he only started the company 10 years ago, didn't he? 15 years? All because of the DL DL6 incident, as you may have guessed. The name on the back of those photographs. As you suspected, I cannot stand in defense of Maya because of this. White would have destroyed me if I did. So that's the connection. It's hard for me to tell you this, my boy, but arresting Red White will be nigh on impossible. Impossible? Why? He has information on everyone. It gives him an iron grip. He owns judges, attorneys, prosecutors, police, and politicians. What? They are bound, unable to do harm to themselves and therefore to him. Don't look at me like that. What you see is nothing more than the weight of many years. The DLC incident. What is the DLC incident? DLC. Sorry, DL6, not C. Fuck is nothing more than the sorting code the police gave the case. It was 15 years ago now. I received a request from a medium, a spirit medium. Okay, so it, that's what happened 15 years ago and then he probably uh, made the um, made the company five years later. A medium? Her name was Misty Faye. Really, Faye? How's it going, Leo? You're not supposed to be up here, buddy. You need to go back downstairs, okay? Daddy's almost done though, okay? I'm playing Dangan Rampa. Can you say that? Good try. All right, I'll see you later, Leo. Okay? Yeah. Key five. On side. Up above. Down below. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. Too slow. <laughs> oh, you got me. Good job. See you later. Indeed, it was Mia's mother. She had been investigating a murder at the request of the police, and she failed. As a result, the police called her a fraud. This is what Maya was talking about the other day. I did all I could for her, and in the end, cleared her of wrongdoing. That murder case, however, remains unsolved to this day. That case is the DL6 incident, and is, and is the ending of this game. Reason for the blackmail. But why were you blackmailed over this, Mr. Grossberg? The DLC accident was top secret at the time. It made sense. The police didn't want people to know they were using a medium. They couldn't let people know. But one person found out. I, I told him. He told White. He offered me riches. It was an embarrassment to me now. Because I talked, the police were mocked far and wide. In secret, they began looking for the one who sold them out. Of course, White learned about it, and he came to me. Only this time, the offer was blackmail. I see. White controls the law of this country as he sees fit, yet if you would still challenge him, I have a close look at Maya's office. Mia's office. She followed his every move for years. She may have recorded something of what she found. Alright. I'm a lawyer. Sorry. <laughs> it's funny, looking at this room it seems so normal. Hard to imagine the murder took place here. Mr. Grossberg said there would be clues. Maybe I should have another look. All the cases the chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical order. Let's take a look. Which file should I look at? 
file A A to I. Let's see if there's an A record in this file that catches my eye. A B F Misty Fay. That's Mia and Maya's mother. Hmm. Should I take a look? No. Read it. I have tarnished the Fay name, leaving only the, these words. My mother vanished. I was determined to find the ones who had made my mother blame herself in this way. Using the power that runs in my family, I held an audience with the dead. Finally, the names of two men surfaced. Leon and Leon. <laughs> One was Marvin Grossberg. A lawyer who sold my mother's information for riches. The other was the man who sold that information to the press. Okay, so she went and worked for him for that reason. Alright, this parasite who makes his fortune on threats and coercion. His name is... Hmm, the record stops there. So, Mia knew Grossberg. All the cases that Chief ever worked on are filed here. They're in alphabetical like order. Do we have to go through this every time? J to S. Let's see if anything J catches my S. J through S. Nothing much in here. Maybe I'll just skim some of this. Skim. Sigh. Well, no harm in flipping through a bit, I guess. The biggest parts here in the S. Suicide? Ew. Ew? There's a collection of suicide reports. There's politicians, policemen. There's writing on most of these in pencil. White? This is Mia's handwriting. Wait, I get it. Mia thought he was involved in these suicides. White drove them all to... I can use these newspaper clippings. He forced bullets in their path at high velocity. And then they walked into them. Killing themselves. Hmm, let's find the most disturbing one. Newspaper clipping added to the court record. Can I check these files once more? Yeah, check them. Which file to check? File T to Z. T, U, I know, W, white. The entire W section is missing. Was it taken? Whoa. Yeah, where's Mia? Mia's desk, perfect clean as always. Oh, I thought that was the phone. Alright, are we still blue? The sky is blue and so am I. I think we're getting close to being you done. All right, let's go back to uh, Grossberg. Hey, Grossberg. No. Hey, I got I got this. I found this in Mia's files, so she was investigating Red White as I expected. Well, if you want to challenge him, you could present this in court. Not a bad idea. All right. So is that it? Uh. Let's go show it to him. Hey, well, aren't you persistent? Sorry, but there's something I have to ask you. Mr. Lawyer, I really hate having to repeat myself, but it seems the message is not penetrated, not yet penetrated your thick skull, so stop bothering me. If you try my patience further, I fear a nasty accident may occur. Do I m make myself clear? Transparent. Miss May. I think we're past seeing talk about April May. I've got to put this guy on the spot and quick. Hmm? What's the matter? You seem distressed. Night of the murder. This guy is a pro at pulling the wool over people's eyes. I've got to put him on the spot and quick. Stop that. Your hot gaze is giving me goosebumps. Blackmail. There's no point asking someone this crooked a straight question. I need some evidence I can use as ammo. What's wrong? Is something stuck to my face? Why yes, there's my eyes and my nose and my mouth. Of course I jest. You need not restrain your mirth, my friend. It is okay to indulge in my cosmo cosmopolitan sense of humor i will not think less of you all right i'm gonna save before i show it to him because like, like i think we're just about to fucking die big mac like okay i have evidence you're causing people to kill themselves all right cool i'm gonna let you leave all right this is the only clue that my that Mia, Maya left me i better make this kill count mr white see this it's an article describing the suicide of a politician he was embezzling secret government funds then one day word got leaked to the press the very next day he took his own life and this concerns me how. I found this article in Mia's office. Miss Mia? She had a file file filled with articles like this. Every one of them was labeled with a single word. White. Mr. White, I know what you did to this politician. You bribed him. You spied on him. You fucked him. You were blackmailing him. Blackmail? Not just him, either. You were threatening and coercing hundreds of others. You were involved in all the suicide cases that Mia investigated. This company is built on blackmail. I'm right, aren't I? What a bizarre accusation. Mr. Wrong. What is it that you should be doing now? Investigating me? No, no, no. I think not. You should be searching for the one who killed Miss Mia. Beep. Secretary's office, hello? Mr. Wrong will be leaving now. Yes, sir. I'll send someone right away. Wait a second, Mr. White. You're right. You're wrong. 
you're wrong. Ding dong, you're wrong. You're wrong, Mr. White. Excuse me? What should I, what I should be doing? And I was going after you. Just what are you insinuating? My, Mia was onto you. She was keeping tabs. For this reason, you had April May tapping her phone. Then, Mia was murdered, and all the documents about you mysteriously disappeared. So, the culprit would be. Even a child could work it out, Mr. White. You did it. Beep. Secretary's office. We won't be needing an escort for Mr. Wrong. Instead, please connect me to the public prosecutor's office. Of course, sir. One moment, please. White? That you? What are you doing calling me at a time like this? Hello, Chief Prosecutor. I've changed my mind. I want to testify tomorrow. What's, what's this about? The Mia Fey case. I witnessed the murder, you see. And thus, as a very important witness, I would like to testify. What? Why now? I thought you said you didn't want to go to court. Quietude. I told you I changed my mind, didn't I? Oh, and one other thing. Send the police over here right away. The man standing right in front of me. He looks dazed, but could be violent. What? What man? Are you even listening? The, execu the executioner. The hatchet man. The liquidator. Lime man. The killer man. What? Mr. White. This is another one of those. Chief prosecutor. I do not believe you are in a position to freely offer your opinions to me, correct? I'm telling you to send the police now. Beep. Did I not tell you, Mr. Wrong? You are a mere lawyer. As was Miss Mia. How dare you. I'll point the finger at you and you will be tried as Miss Mia's killer. The case is as good as settled. No lawyer of any worth will defend you. I have friends in the local lawyers association, you see. You'll be given a lawyer so stupendously inept that they make you, that they will make even you look competent. That's jokes on you, I'll represent myself. I I feel faint. I'm a lawyer. Oh, Detective Gumshoe reporting, sir. Ah, butts. Harry Butts. Right, actually. Phoenix Wright, and my friend's name is Larry. Oh, right. Sorry, pal. Butts was that murderer, right? Well... <laughs> Detective Gumshoe. I present to you the man who killed Miss Mia Fey. Who's getting the Guido voice? What, what? Take this despicable human be being into custody. Farewell, Mr. Wrong. Ah, uh, September 8th, 3.37 p.m., detention center, visitor's room. I can't believe it's only been a day since the first trial. My trial begins tomorrow. A deadly trial. <laughs> the white's going to set a trap for me. And the prosecution will be in on it, of course, Chadworth included. An attorney was assigned to me by the state yesterday. What? I refused. I had an idea. Right. Mr. Wright. Oh, Maya. Great, they let you out of detention. Just now, yes. It's all thanks to- wait, so now we're in detention, but they still use the same thing? Ha, huh. and I'm afraid we switch places. Why is the cop on that side? Wow. Huh, what, you mean you? I swear what had happened to Maya. I don't believe it. How many people does that man need to destroy before he satisfies my mother, my sister, and now you. This has gone too far. Mr. Wright, please tell me, is there anything I can do? Um, well, kill him. Defend me in court. Cheer on, cheer me on in court. Help me break out. Defend me in court. Yeah. All right, you can be my defense lawyer tomorrow. All right. Huh? Leave it to me. I am Mia's sister, after all. Lawyership runs in our blood. She was the first lawyer. Wasn't it your ghost powers that ran in your blood? I better run to the bookstore and pick up a copy of Law for Rookies. Wait, 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 What, what, what? I'm kidding. It was a joke. No way. No, really. I was kidding. But thanks. It's good to know you're on my side. I didn't know he was kidding. And they really- <laughs> This is what the game has done to me. I didn't know he was kidding. Like, she, I was like, okay, she, she's gonna be our lawyer and we're just gonna feed information through her. I, re I really didn't know he was kidding. Because it's this game. And there really isn't anything you can do for me anyway. But, but I can't just sit here and do nothing. The judge is like, yeah, okay, she can be your lawyer, yeah, fine, I agree. I've got to give that man a piece of my mind. Just a piece? Okay, then, come to the trial tomorrow. Okay, I'll be there. I'll show them a thing or two.
Times may change, yet with crime it's the same old story. In fact, it's gotten worse. Lengthy court proceedings aren't or no longer realistic. Beginning a few years ago, a limit on, of three days was put on initial court trials. What? Almost all finished in a day. Most of the guilty verdict. What? I never thought I would end up in the defendant's chair myself for this case. With the true culprit appearing as the star witness. This is it. Tomorrow, it's me or him. Do 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 One hundred percent accurate for Japan. It can't. That can't be one hundred percent accurate. It's probably like pointing out that they have problems, maybe. But I'm only getting secondhand information about that. All right, I think we are. You done? Uh, was there any fan art that I missed? Oh, <gasps> he's back from art cop to art lawyer. He's back. Here we go again, another wondrous job. I hope the pay is better this time. I fucking love Yusuke, man. Yusuke's good. Remember to always press everything? Really? Hmm. Okay. I guess we get more dialogue. I feel like that might be a bit tedious, but it, mostly it's entertaining. Okay, one second. Oh shit, okay, I think I, ha I think I have four fan art, including this one on screen now, okay. All right. Japan's a 99% conviction rate. I think I read that somewhere, or was, or was that in Persona? Was that mentioned in Persona? I can't remember. Do you remember when we argued about plot holes in Persona 5? Yeah, I won't argue in this game, okay. All right, this the, this game's fans aren't aren't that committed. All right, I understand. Yeah, Ace Attorney fans aren't really that invested in the game. Aren't really that committed to it. I understand. Okay, thank thank you for clearing that up, chat. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, thank you for this Q2. Thank you. This is great. I fucking love you, Skay. Stop baiting me. I wouldn't bait. What do you mean? I wouldn't bait. Meow, Mia Chan. Oh, never mind. She's already dead. <laughs> I was expecting her to die later. Later is that a is that a nine on uh, on her thing? Uh, this is by Lewd and In Debt. Nice, nice combo, Lewd and In Debt. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Lewd and In Debt. Cat girl lawyer. Nine lives. Oh, she's not really dead. She's gonna come back. She faked her own death. Do 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 do. And uh, this next one sums up how it's gonna be when uh, now that I know to press everything. Witness testimony. Mr. Mr. Tony, Mr. Tony didn't do it. Mr. Tony didn't do it. Hey, Joe is right. Hold it. Yep, that's exactly how it's going to be from now on. <laughs> didn't do it. <laughs> Hold it. <laughs> I was like, I was gonna start the stream today with saying something like, um, because uh, some people say like I was I was baiting. I was gonna I was gonna start the stream today by saying something like, um, 
You know what? I, I think that maybe I'm trolling chat too much. Maybe I need to dial back on the troll. But then I was then I was thinking about it. And I'm like, as soon as I start saying that, people in chat are going to be like, hmm, okay, I wonder what the troll is here. <laughs> what troll is, is this leading up to? Uh, and here we go. Absolutely fantastic. There's no way the witness murdered that man. That's against the law. Oh, got you there. <laughs> I love, I love Yusuke and Waffles role playing in court. I, I love it. I love it. Uh. Who was last person I said thank you to? Color Color Plant, I think, and Multimaster World. Uh, so thank you, Mogul, for the two month resub. Love the recent streams. Glad you're enjoying them. They've been they've been pretty good lately. We've been on a, a pretty good run of it just being kind of kind of kind of cursed or it just chaos or whatever. Yesterday's stream was was simultaneously like the best and worst stream that we've ever had. Like, I don't even know what to think about yesterday's stream. Like, I, I watched yesterday's streams back at times two speed just to make sure I hadn't accidentally ended my career yesterday. Like, ye yesterday was just, just, I was not in control of yesterday. Like, I was, I was really nervous yesterday. Like, like, to the point that, like, the devs were there and, the, and like, they're, and they're fucking with me. And I felt like I was, like, I was, like, I couldn't really, I couldn't really say anything either. I was, like, I don't even know what to say. I was, like, fuck. Like, I was completely out of my element yesterday. I hope I hope it didn't show too much and we handled it all right. But like fucking hell, like I was so off balance yesterday. Um, thank you, Gyroscope, for the new Cyber Prime. Thank you very much. Thank you, Eldry TV as well and Donor Stag. Thank you, thank you, thank you, Popsicle Daydream for the thirty-two month resub. Thirty-two months doesn't feel like it's been that long. Yep, yep. Like the years feel like they're passing quickly, but the the, the last few months have feel like they've been passing really slowly. So yeah. Time, time is a uh, is subjective. Uh, thank you, Glistenin, Glistenin for the fourteen month resub. Hi again, love the video. Overwatch is still bad. I agree. Overwatch is still bad. Play, play Hunt, Hunt Showdown. Uh, I think over the next few days, um, I'm playing Hunt Showdown with with some of my old uh, World of Warcraft friends, um, and I think we're gonna try Tarkov. So what am I in for, chat? Do you think I'd like Tarkov? I really like Hunt Showdown. I'm pretty bad at it. I've like we, we go about fifty fifty. So like like I, I guess that's okay for how little I've played it, but I'm gonna try I'm gonna try Tarkov and see how it goes. The the problem I have with Hunt Showdown is that I feel like I die in one hit, and everyone else I have to shoot them like five goddamn times, and it's not just me either. Like I spectate with, with my teammate um, who who is really good at shooters. Like he's excellent at first person shooters. He plays a lot of them. And even spectating him after I died, like he shot this guy in the chest three times and he didn't die. And then he gets shot once and he dies too. So I don't know if like the guns are so much better if you've played it a lot and we're still in like the noob tier or whatever, but it's like, it's so frustrating, you know? Uh, thank you, Tamaran for the new sub. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sprinklers on 10 eh, for the two month resub. I lost my real account while memeing, so this is my main now. Thanks, Joe, for streams. Outer Wilds was great. Good luck with, with AA. Again, I'm pretty sure there are quite a lot of people that enjoyed the Outer Wilds streams more than more than the Witcher video, which is just like, like fuck. Like, I understand they're different, so it's hard to compare. It's like apples and oranges, but still, like, oh my god. Work is weird. Work is weird. Thank you, Sprinkles on ten. Thank you, definitely not Kanye. Ooh, for the uh, for the new sub. Thank you very much. I didn't listen to your new album. Sorry. Uh, Twisted Tootsie has resubscribed for twenty five months with I'm a Witcher. I'm a lawyer. Thank you, Twisted Tootsie. And last but not least is I go I goa I goa I think for the new sub. Thank you very much. Uh, there might be a, a couple like something else that comes in while I I read monocoins and apparently I missed two. I missed two fan arts. What fan arts did I miss? Bada bada bum ba dum ba dum bum bum. Okay, first of all we have <laughs> A 
Oh my god, it fits! Why does it fit? It fits! Holy shit! It fits! Degenerate lawyer. Himiko went full Tenko. Nice. Uh, I'm glad so many of you find my stupid jokes funny and stupid references. Just take so many shots in the dark streaming. Degenerate lawyer. Hopefully her voice wasn't too tedious to listen to. Ba -da -ba -da -ba. Nah. All best girls end up dead. <laughs> okay, I I'm I'm offended. I'm offended that Mia is on this list. I'm offended. How dare you? How dare you? Hey, Owie. Hey, Owie. Thank you for that. Uh, who made these, by the way? I said they were linked with me in a, uh, like, in together. And there's one more. Maybe the names are on it and I missed it. Oh, wow, that did not do what I thought it was going to do. All right, there we go. Maya, your honor, it's clear the victim wrote the name of the of the culprit with, it, with their last breath. Objection! This is just part of a larger piece of evidence. What the victim was writing was actually their deepest wish. Behold! Oh, shit, I just moved part of OBS. Behold! <laughs> <laughs> Take five hundred thousand monocoins off, Maya! Such such a pure, just a pure, such a pure wish, such a pure wish. Damn. Now a nice streamer would notice that this is five hundred thousand, not five hundred million, which is a very, a very uh, you know, respectable, modest wish. Hmm. Interesting. Just an observation. Just an observation. Uh, unrelatedly, let's look and see how many people uh, want some stuff off of AI. Yeah, let's see. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 do. Thank you to CK Tofu and Frickin' Moron for using 20k coins on literally nothing instead of AI. Congrats to you. Just so many heroes in this chat. So many heroes. Uh, is. I have been thinking, Hori Hori, knew it. Utum T6, Icevlad1, or Mops96 here? And if so, can you please type in chat who your best girl is? Or best boy? Um, meanwhile, uh, unofficially jam, Oricans, Galuth, Karsten Kart Sen, there we go, Not Shy Can, and Trail TV have all used some, some monocoin refunds. Oh, Utum T6 is my. What? My, my shek. What the fuck? My Sakura Jima. Oh, she's in a bunny outfit in this one. Oh, she's cute. She's cute. All right. My Sakura Jima is best girl, and is the waifu of Joseph Anderson. There you go. Thank you very much, uh, Utemp Six, for uh. For introducing me to that girl i'm refunding your your coins you can have them back thank you very much all right anybody else uh knew it i slide one mops 96 and you put them in the monocoin fund after i refunded them <gasps> oh shit not that i'm a weeb who likes anime girls or anything but i'm not against hot ha hawing Morag Ladare as my waifu. Is that who I think it is? Yeah, all right. Mor Morag Ladare is best girl and is the waifu of Ice Vlad 1. Congratulations. Have to do the clap. 
<clears throat> my Sakurajima is best girl and is the waifu of U Temp 6. I wouldn't take it away from you. You got it for free. Because I refunded it. Alright, uh, Mop696 and knew it, Hori Hori, I've been thinking, or either, or any of you here, and I missed you. Please at me with your choice, by the way. Like, uh, some people, I, I watched back in the stream yesterday that some people were, were saying what they wanted, but they weren't adding me. If you, if you at me, it's a lot higher chance that I will see it. She's 12? What? She's not 12. It's anime, though. She's 17 hyphen 18 according to abotafandom.com wiki. Gender female, height 5'4, dies in the second episode. Oh, okay, that sucks. Huh. Whoops. Main female protagonist of Sishin Buta Yaro Wa Bunny Girl Senpai No Yumi Womina Si- What the fuck is this shit? Is that a real title? Sishin Buta Yaro Wa Bunny Girl Senpai No Yumi Wa Minai Like, it sounds like someone's arguing with themselves. Imagine walking down the street saying that to yourself, you'd get arrested. What the fuck? You know what I'm going to do after this? I'm going to go downstairs and I'm going to hug my wife. I'm going to hug my wife after this. Anyway, um, sentence styles become really common in Japan. <laughs> anyway, so there are seven people that, that refunded uh, coins. So let's do calculator so I won't make any stupid mistake. 20k times 7 is uh, 2 million. Alright, and add the 500,000 the, for the fucking meme thing. Because I'm secretly actually a nice person. Don't tell anyone. Alright, and we're, we're taking off 640,000. But if you guys abuse this and it becomes a habit, then maybe one day I add the amount instead of taking it away. So be careful. Do, 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 do. Okay, so we're taking 640,000 from that. So that becomes an eight. And that becomes a one, I believe. Yeah. Right? Or did I mess it up? Yeah, I think that's right. What was it before? Hold on, cancel. I think I did it wrong. I think I took away millions instead. Oh no, it's right. I was right with what I did. I'm dumb. I'm dumb. All right, I think that's right. If anything, it's a little high, so there we go. Uh, thank you probably, Sean, for the 4-month resub. Thank you very much. And thank you another 
another Twitch account. I saw Witch Witcher in there somewhere. Another Twitch account for the five month resub. Thank you very much. Okay, I think that's gonna be it for me. Uh, if there's any fan art that I missed or anything, we'll, we'll show it at the beginning of tomorrow's stream. And uh, I had a good time today. This was fun. Hey Leo, how's it going? Come over here. I'm being a good boy. You're being a good boy. Yeah. yeah. So you say. But you're like chat. You lie. Say hello. Hello. Say hi. My name's Leo. What's your favorite show? Dinosaur King. Dinosaur King? Can you sing the song? <laughs> Good job. Good job. All right, say bye-bye. Bye-bye. See you there, chat. Oh, what's your favorite dinosaur? A Triceratops? Yes. Very good choice. Very good choice. All right. See you guys later, chat. See you tomorrow.